What up, gamers? It's really bright over here. Jeez. How are you guys doing this wonderful Tuesday? It's Tuesday. I was gone for a, a long weekend and came back on Monday, and Monday felt like Sunday, and I'm all messed up. Yeah, I'm, I'm hiding the tips. No, I got back yesterday. Um, today was the first day back in the office proper and had some cleanup and stuff to do. Uh, what's going on? Thanks for the raid, Reaper. Again, just choice timing right at the beginning of the stream. We appreciate that. White Mace Windu, Silar Beast, C13M42, Granite Minis, Caleb Sweet, the Idiot Painter, Be Chromatic. What up, guys? How you guys doing? Um, I spent the week uh, at Vince's house with John and Sam and Uncle Adam. If you were on my Instagram, you might have seen some pictures of that. Or maybe you saw them from other places, uh, from the other creators there. Uh, it's better because I turned off top for this. It won't be good. I mean, let's set the expectations low here. <laughs> what up, Eons of Battle? How you doing? Yeah, we're going to exceed those expectations. <laughs> right, Scott? Yeah, of course. Right, Scott? Yes, I'm ready to exceed those expectations, whatever they may be. What's the new game? I was given a line to tell you, and I can't remember all the details of the line, so I'll just say the ones that I remember. It's a near-future asymmetric game. There are other details that I'm allowed to share with you, but those are the only ones I remember. Also, also speaking of exceeding expectations, we had several subs in our pre-stream too. Oh, did we? Pansy Bear resubscribed with Prime seven months. Cass McTire resubscribed for two months. Awesome Art Freak sixteen months. God no. one. And Fail Not TV resubscribed with Prime for three months. Very so nice. thanks to all those as well. Thank you for the subs, guys. I'm going to grab uh, some water. My Scott water has tub. decided to just leave. Why, why do I do with anything? Oh, it's right there. Okay. All right. All right. So, yeah, I uh, did a lot of hobbying at Vince's house. Um, and I have some things I need to finish up that I couldn't finish at Vince's house. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, we're going to end the stream at 4 p.m. sharp, just because I have things I need to do uh, right after. Flapjack, Nickel Sack. <laughs> Thanks for the Prime sub. Caleb Sweet, thank you as well for gifting a sub to Paint Chantress. Thanks for support, guys. We appreciate it. Yes, at, uh, at 50 subs, we're going to give away this sick Cthulhu dice tower, which we won't talk about a ton this stream. Um, but if you're interested in a giveaway, we're going to do that at 50 subs. One of the uh, viewers of the stream will pick this bad boy up. Zlox, thank you for the prime sub. Someone said I act like I'm about to serve some sick artisanal coffee. Dude, the beanie, the beanie does, does so much work. Did you paint the whole time Vince painted? Um, don't tell anyone, but I painted longer than Vince. Um, what? Yeah, he was, John was there and they were like, let's play Magic the Gathering. And so while they were playing that, I was I was still painting. But they, yeah, they, they took it easy this time. They weren't like, last time they met up and I wasn't there, it was like, maybe like, I don't know. It was really close to Golden Demon. So the point of that was like to get shit done. Like they had their heads down and they were cranking. This is more casual. And so I, I was, and I, I didn't play Magic the Gathering, so I just, I just painted. I mean, Adepticon is uh, three months away. Yeah, don't, don't tell them that. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin is Gavin. Thank you for the Prime sub. And whoa, we got a. Uh, oh, I can't say that name. Ek, oh no, it's El Chef. El Chef. Evan. I don't know. Thank you for the five gifted subs. That's it. We hit it. Yep. Fifty subs. Tips or nah, dude, I'll take all your tips. Uh, thank you again for the five gifted uh, subs. El Chefe Bon. I appreciate it. Okay, so now one of the viewers in the stream is gonna win this lovely Cthulhu dice tower that's supposed to be painted as well. And we'll start the giveaway for that shortly here. Yeah, uh, who makes that again? The name of the company is Unnatural 20 Art. And that's like their website and their Instagram and their Facebook and everything. Frosted tips or nah, not yet, but I will, I promise. Just got back yesterday. Give me the dice tawa, okay. Lord Ariana, no, Ariakana. It's so hard to read things without fucking spaces and shit and capitalizations. Lord Ariakan, Ariakan, yep, we're going with that. 
Boy Painted today. We are going to finish up some projects that are sitting in front of me here that I uh, I pretty much completed at Vince's house, but I didn't uh, have like the materials to like base and stuff. And so I'll get to show you guys all the things that I painted while doing some fun basing. Um, some of these bases are really large, and so we're going to get to do some fun things on them. Um, boo! Yeah, sorry about the frosted tips. I'll Next get it stream, Scott. Yeah, sure. I can do Next that. Stream. I can do that. All right. Let's get to the paint cam and show off what I finished here. Actually, what we're going to do is I'm going to get this uh, giveaway started, and then we'll go to the paint cam. Okay. And uh, to enter the giveaway, you hit exclamation mark moist in the chat. It's going now. Or at least it says it's going. Exclamation mark moist in the chat. It's okay. We still love you, Scotty. Scotty. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate and the patience. if you want to back this Kickstarter project that we're giving away the tower from, I'm throwing the link in the chat a few times here. It's mixed into all the moists. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a weird thing to say. Mixed into all the moists. They have more than just Cthulhu. They have like sandworms and dragons and a weird bone tentacle thing bone tentacle thing is definitely not something else uh <laughs> definitely give it a click check it out uh giveaway will go for 30 minutes all right i'm gonna go to the paint cam even though you're not there now okay sounds good i did it i did it chad i don't think i need anything else there's a rock in here what the fuck is there a rock in here okay i'm getting distracted what kind of rock I don't know, just a normal... Like a Dan rock? It just seems like a normal-ass rock. Has Dan been stashing his pocket rocks here? No. He wouldn't do that. That would get him banned for sure. Uh, Kappa Wookie, thank you for the 27 months of subbing and painting, Monkey. Uh, for the seven months, appreciate the subs. Maroons! Okay. I painted... I was working on this the last stream uh, when you guys were here. Um working on this skeleton unit. They uh, are all done uh, being painted. I'm just gonna put some tufts on the base, but I did some more freehand. Um, on this banner, this banner was smaller than the one that comes in the normal box. This is the uh, Cursed City one. And so instead of doing a moon and stuff, I went, instead of a red banner, I went for a blue banner and did the symbol in kind of like a, uh, a fun, like spectrally green and yellow uh, color. So I'm gonna put some tufts on their base and then we'll move on to the next part. You rock, Scott. <laughs> nice. Appreciate the Miniac and the streams lately helped me through a really rough chunk of year. The vibes are right. I love to hear that. I love to hear that. Glad that we could help with that. Hype freehand. What up, Tomb King Tristan? I uh, appreciate it, guys. Um, you let Dan for leaving these rocks around. I will. I will. Okay. So let's do, uh, let's, well, let's look at the other things that I also finished. I also finished. And we'll get a top-down shot of this. My motherfucking zombie dragon! I gotta put some grass and shit on the base. But, fucking hey, there he is. Um, the camera's gonna cut out. I'm an idiot. Uh, let's go to the top-down shot so we can see this in its full glory. Have to do that myself tonight. Prayers up. You, you, you're painting a zombie dragon as well? That's awesome. But yeah, here he is. I'm not super convinced with the paint scheme. I don't know, maybe because the model spent so long almost looking like this that the the minimal amount of painting, I mean, I didn't do a minimal amount, but the, the model didn't change drastically in colors. To me, it doesn't necessarily look done, um, but it, it, it is like it's absolutely done and I don't need to do any more work on it. Um, but yeah, like when like a lot of the this was actually a, a suggestion from Vince. The horns and the, the spikes on, along the spine, um, they're often a different color than the actual bone of the beast. And so I like made them like this dark blue uh, color just to kind of differentiate a little bit more. The bone of the beast. The bone of the beast. Um, Cause I went with black and black isn't like a super striking color, uh, like a black bone. Um, and so I wanted something a little bit more visually interesting. And so I did that like kind of darker blue indigo color. Uh, Scott, stop overthinking your dragon. It's tabletop plus and it's excellent. Thank you. Holy sub notification. Look at that big boy. Hey, Scott, how was VincyCon? It was fantastic. Uh, we had a good time. Um, a lot of, I mean, I just painted French the entire time. 
uh, and ate food. Uh, so that's like my ideal way of spending time. <laughs> uh, we got a demo of Vince's uh, and Adam's new game, did a lot of chatting, watched some funny videos, like it was a good time. Zombie Dragon, he's all done. He's got to finish up his base. And then the last thing, I don't know what's going on on my camera, but it refuses to stay connected to my uh, my phone here. Yeah, that's uh, kind of like what was happening to me that one time that I was describing to you. Yeah. All right, let's pop back over to the painting camera so I can show him this Blood Knight that I finished. Um, Connecting to Wi-Fi. Oh, phenomenal. Okay. I mean, I could show that on stream, but no gonna, one would like it. I'm just going to turn the camera off. And lastly... I finished uh, Blood Knight, which we'll get a closer shot of. I have, I started all five of them. I didn't just start one. Um, I did all five with the airbrush. Uh, uh, Scott, those Blood Knights look different than your other ones? They do. I thought that these ones would be fancy ones. Um, so it's like, I have like a bunch of, so like the colors of my scheme are basically America, right? Um, <laughs> I have a lot of red, white, and blue. Um, and normally I have the armor of the rider and the horse itself uh, be red. And then I have the cloth blue. And then I have like some cream tones in there. Actually, I actually don't have any cream tones on this model at all. But I thought I would invert that. I thought I would make the rider blue, the cloth red. Um, and like make this like, like the, this is like the elite unit of Blood Knights. You know, this is the new kit. They look awesome. I, I mean, I'm not running swords for my Blood Knights, but goddamn, these swords are so cool. They're so cool. Um, and so I couldn't, I could not, not do that. I'm still, still, still gonna run them as lances in my list, but my God, these swords are so cool. Um, did the uh, camera come back? Uh, yes, but oh, it is out of focus. All right, let me. Okay. I can help with that by putting it on the preview. Hang on. There you go. Now you can see it. Yeah. Oh. Whatever you did, we just lost it. I know. Yeah, let's just sit here for a moment in blackness. How you guys doing? Oh no, the stream doesn't see the blackness. Oh, I mean, they see the the twirling thing though. I'm no, 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 that's the preview. <laughs> not WYSIWYG. Yeah, we're not doing WYSIWYG. Why are we all chanting USA in the chat right now? Um, because those are your colors. Oh yes, of course. Walmart. Born in the USA, I was <laughs> born in the USA. That was beautiful, Evan. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> all right, this should uh, now show the model. Evan just stood up. He's not doing his job. Can't stand up, okay? You need to be you need to be at the desk at all times. I'm more than just a chair, Scott. That's true. Fuck, that's true. All right. Just a reminder, exclamation mark moist in the chat to pick up this sick Cthulhu dice tower We're doing a giveaway for. Gotta be a follower of the channel to win. All right. You remember how we were talking about static, Scott? Yeah, you getting zapped? I just shocked the stream deck and it turned off. Hey oh for a second. I, electronics love excess uh, electrons. I the, heard. This this studio is like negatively charged. Yeah. The none, whole thing. None of the grounds work in this building. Um, their Kickstarter says it's a Kraken, Scott. All right. Also, it's clearly a dice pooper. Okay. Take that on board. Call it a Kraken from now on. Sure. I like your six screams. Thank you. Uh, Scott, some Chicago painters are painting Curse City and Warcry and doing raffle for Kathy Waffle at Akon. Any tips on the best way to get most people involved to help them? <laughs> Share it on social media, my, my brother. Talk about it to your friends. Talk about it to your game store. See if you can get your game store involved in advertising it. Flawless Smith, thank you for the sub. Anyways, here's my Blood Knight. This is the one that I finished. Um, I did, uh, I did Tamiya clear blue over Vallejo silver. Uh, I did some black sh shading on the armor with an airbrush, and then I did an edge highlight and a recess shade. And then the horse armor was done. That was easy. The rider himself used that same silver progression. I did some brush highlights with normal silver, and I did a lot of really finicky, as you can probably see, recess shading with uh, more of that, that dark blue color. Um, it's called Omega Blue. It's a Vallejo Express color, but it's kind of more like a, it's like a really purpley blue color. Um, and I like that. His skin is also shaded with blue. So it's a very cold looking uh, uh, skin tone. I did, I did this like spectrally color for the bone of the horse head and also the hooves. And it's the same as the skulls 
on the zombie dragon here, and also the skulls of the skeletons, but the skeletons are much less turquoise. Anyways, that's what I finished. The, the 10 minute unit of uh, skellies, the zombie dragon, and then uh, I started the, uh, the blood knights and I finished one of them. And now we gotta base it all, make it look pretty. So let's do that. Uh, the blue metal is gorgeous. Thank you, appreciate it. Swag like I Ohio. Are they out yet? I don't think they're out yet. I thought they were coming out in December. I know that they have like a rolling release for the Vallejo Express paints and it depends where you live. But I thought they were coming out in December, if not quarter one next year. Uh, I lost my chat window, Evan. Oh. All right, so for the skellies, also you needed a mini case, huh? Okay, yeah, I suppose we should talk about that. Oh boy. Um, yeah, let's maybe get the, yeah. So, my case got a little fucked by <laughs> airport security. I did not, this is not checked luggage, okay? I brought this on the airplane with me. This happened in the security scanner at the uh, Ohio airport. And so let me tell you the full story of what happened. I set this thing down, what I thought was carefully, on the security scanner. And the first thing the guy does is he grabs it, and he lays it on its back, and he kind of slams it down. Because whatever, it's luggage. And I was like, I was like, can, can it stand up like this? Just because it's like orientation matters. And he was like, sure. And so, oh, that was your pick on NGAG? I didn't know it was yours. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Which Ohio airport? Columbus. Market tag, thanks for the sub. Also, four after ever, thank you for the sub as well. It was the Columbus one. Anyways, so I put it on the thing. I walk through the security scanner, like the metal detector, everything's fine. And I'm waiting for my shit to come through the scanner. And something got stuck in the scanner. And I don't know if it was this, but like <laughs> the state of it suggests that it was this. <laughs> It'll buff out, yeah, for sure. Uh, so I think what happened was it was too tall. And as it was, let's see if I can get the direction right. As it was sliding through this way, it clipped on the top and the rubber on the bottom is like gripping to the fabric case and the bottom is pushing it. And you can even see as I bend it, how it's like compressing. So the top is saying, no, you can't go that way. And the bottom is like, yes, you fucking can. And I'm guessing the TSA agent was kind of just like, why isn't it working? Um, and just uh, my thing got stuck and I saw, I didn't see it come out, but I saw a guy grab like one of those like grippy arm things and he put it in the scanner to grab whatever was stuck and he pulled it out. And the, I think my favorite part of the story is this. Um, I pull it out, I open it because they took it out and they put it through the other scanner that was working and it was fine. And I opened it and it was totally fucked. And I was like, Jesus Christ. And one of the agents there heard me. They were like, oh, we're like, what's wrong? I was like, did you get damages? And I was like, yeah, I did. Uh, and he was like, go talk to the, our, our shift manager and you can find a way to like make a claim on it and get it repaired. And so I was like, okay, like, that's cool. Uh, obviously like someone's liable. And so I went and talked to the manager and I showed him my case. It's always so funny to show another adult, like a 40 year old adult, like that you paint <laughs> mini minis. And so I was like, this is a special case it's for carrying miniatures, it's magnetic storage kind of gave him that little <laughs> description and then I opened it and he was like my scanner didn't do this and I was like uh yes it did <laughs> and he was like he's like it could have done this there's no way it's like I was like I didn't come over here to talk to you like someone sent me over here so you could deal with this problem and I was like I was like you can go talk to the other agents like they were the ones who were dealing with it. And the guy was like, no, I'm asking you. And I was like, well, motherfucker, you clearly don't believe me. So go talk to somebody else. Uh, but eventually after some chatting, he gave me a piece of cardboard uh, that said TSA.gov on it. And I was like, thank you. I couldn't have figured that out myself. Um, so yeah, there's like some like claiming process you can do on the internet when you think TSA damages your shit. Um, and they probably did, but again, I didn't see them do it exactly. I'm just, I'm just guessing uh, through, uh, through clues and context. The repaint, oh, yeah, but the, the miracle part is that none of the minis were broken. Um, nothing was broken ever on the flight there, on the flight back, nothing ever broke. So I'm happy. 
Sir, my toy box got damaged. <laughs> Here's my box of custom painted toys. <laughs> yes. You all can feel how that feels. What am I going to do? Like, not like, if I had known that he was just going to give me a, a business card that said TSA.gov on it, I would have never gone and talked to him. But I thought he was going to give me some, like, immediate solution to my problem. Like, oh, here's a form. You can fill it out, like, right now while you're waiting for your flight. Like, get it all sorted. But that that was not what happened. All right. It's time for some tubs. My Mr. Power Crip head supervisor of the scanning machine. Yeah, basically. When you posted the photo of the inside of the bag, I was amazed the minis weren't damaged. Yeah, honestly, that was super lucky. I don't I don't really know how that came to pass. The possible felons running the machine is definitely wait. Are definitely part of the well oiled machine? Yeah, running the scanner. Yeah, yeah. Touch me, senpai. Oh, it's happening. It is happening. Got some got some sexy micro tufts. Hey, Mike Jean, are you, are you suggesting that TSA agents fucking are uh, are criminals? Or like that's like a field where like uh, felons recently felons go to get their get a job. I've never heard that before. Definitely not. The TSA uh the TSA struggles enough with hiring, but part of it is the government background process. Oh, right. All right. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. I like put super glue down on this baking paper and then proceeded to forget that I put super glue down on it. And then just like dip my finger in it. Good job, Scott. These bases don't need to be super elaborate, but the zombie dragon brace base is going to be pretty elaborate because it has like two shallow pools to fill with resin and to put like reeds in and stuff like that. It's going to be hype. Uh, also, we're doing a giveaway right now. We are. Got 13 minutes left on that for, uh, it's not Cthulhu, it's a Kraken. Just yes. ignore the Streamlabs notification, exclamation mark, moist. Let's enter that giveaway from the uh, Towering Foes Artisan Dice Towers Kickstarter. <laughs> honestly, most people are TSA agents. Uh, honestly, most TSA agents are guys that Denny's wouldn't hire. <laughs> That's comforting. Anyways, that was my weekend. It was great. How was your how was your guys' hobby weekend? What did you guys paint? Did you guys finish anything big? Did you make progress on something small? I'll tell you what, I didn't paint anything and I didn't make any progress on my 3D printer. What what's what's the hold up with the 3D printer? Uh perfection is the enemy of progress. Yeah, yeah. So I was going to work on it. But but then I realized that I could never get my basement like warm enough to print well. We were talking about that a little bit last week. Yep. So I bought all the components to make a little heater for the inside of the enclosure. Oh, my. And they arrived today. So today might be the day that I finally make some progress on it. But I'll tell you what I did do over the weekend, Scott. What was that? I finally watched... Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. Oh! So what? now we can have a spoiler-filled discussion on it that destroys chat's ears. All right. What's the what's the overarching thought? The overarching thought is it was okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Not not a psychopath. <laughs> Last episode, a little cringe, some weird moments. It. It had some really big fundamental problems. What was, a, what was a big fundamental problem? Just just in how they approach the series, I think. Okay. The writing of it, they they have they have the three plot lines uh throughout the whole series and I just don't think it worked. Um can you be more specific? Jumping back and forth between uh the the 
goings on with the the forge and the dwarves and stuff. Like I understand how they want everything to converge at the end of the show. But the problem was is that it made the whole timeline feel wonky. And you spend like whole episodes away from plots without them being tied together at all. I just don't think that the pacing worked. Okay. Yes, Rufus, we are finally talking about the Rings of Power. Uh, overall, it was incredibly beautiful. Uh, but I just I just felt like the writing was a little... At chair. <laughs> I, I can't find the right word for it. It's a fan fiction of Lord of the Rings. Canceling Evan. I have not watched Wednesday. My, my wife is watching Wednesday, though. She's enjoying it. Sophomoric. Sophomoric. It's definitely a term I've heard before, but I have no idea what it means. New season bleach. I've never heard of bleach. I did start to watch Willow, the TV show. That wasn't super a super great experience. Oh. No, I mean like I didn't get through the first episode because the the main teenage actors are so so fucking annoying. Um, <laughs> they're they're Matt Mardigan's and Prince Sorsha's uh, children, and they're just like. Like, the son's a fuckboy, but, like, he's, like, a wuss fuckboy. Um, and I mean that in a literal sense. Like, he is his reputation is, like, Mad Mardigan's. He's known for sleeping around and being a sleazebag. But also, he's, like, a wuss. It's, like, how are you both? Um, you can't, like... I knew uh, a guy like that in high school. You did? Yeah. You got ladies through pity? No, I, mean, I don't know uh, if that's what this guy does. But, like, in, in some scenes, he's, like, being compassionate. And he's, like being bossed around by his, his much more capable sister. And in other scenes, he's like, oh, that guy's doing the thing he does with ladies. And it's like, what? okay. Which is annoying. Um, but I'll watch more of it. Sophomoric. Like a sophomore. <laughs> yeah. It's, the, you know, sophomores are juvenile and pretentious at the same time. Uh, yeah, it just, I don't know. Rings of Power just didn't quite hit the note for me most of the time most of the time uh yeah so was it was it fine or yeah, it was fine no 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 i mean like it was i could see what they were going for it was well shot and competently executed and the costuming and effects were mostly great um but it just like it didn't it didn't fire on all cylinders is how i'd put it okay. you know it was like a solid like six or a seven out of ten which is yeah. Disappointing in the sense that they spent like more than the budget of our state on the fucking show. <laughs> Whenever we bring up this, everyone, everyone always talks about fucking Andor. Oh no, Willow was bad. Don't listen to me. I only watched the first 30 minutes of the first episode. I, I didn't really get into also, it. Also, Scott just hates teenagers. I fucking hate teenagers. They're the fucking worst. Uh, I, I'm going to be honest. What I sat down to do was I was going to watch Andor. And then uh, the streaming service that I was using um, spun its wheels for a bit, and I was like, "Fuck it! I guess I'm watching Rings of Power instead." <laughs> I'll watch it. I'll watch Andor next weekend. There you go. So yeah, next next week we can talk about. It. Wait, you've watched Andor, right? I haven't. No. Oh, okay. Well, then we both have a project to get done because I'm gonna say next stream Frosted Tips and Andor for <laughs> Christmas. Uh, so. I did. I was alone. So most nights I was sleeping with John uh, Whoa. in one of his rooms. Yeah, we were, we were having butt sex. Uh, but but man, when that dude drinks, he snores like a motherfucker. And uh, I have proof of that. Why, why do I feel like he probably snores normally? I don't know. I, I think it's when he's, when he's drinking, but I, I recorded some of it. Here it is. Oh, it's playing on my headphones. Lord. <laughs> Bluetooth. Off, revert. All right. This was like three in the morning at some point when I woke up and I couldn't fall back asleep because he was just fucking 
letting it rip. And the thing is, is it wasn't like rhythmic. He would like stop snoring for like 45 seconds and then just like, <laughs> he would just like, like gasp snore. And then it would like terrify me and then I, I couldn't fall asleep. Really put that up against the mic for you, Scott. Oh, you want it? You want to hear it? I just, I just turned off the music so people can really get the full. God damn. That's just disrespectful. <laughs> Anyways. So, yeah. So, th so, the following day, I think John felt a little bad, which was, I mean, whatever. It was fine. Um, but I, I had the the room to myself, and I was like, oh, I should, I'm going to watch something before I fall asleep here. And I started to watch The Witcher. I should have watched Andor. Sounds like John might have sleep apnea. It only happens, I think, when he drinks. A lot. So, I don't know if that's sleep apnea or something else. I don't know. That's what he says. That's fine. You can snore. I don't care if you snore. But it's funny. And I'm going to chastise you for it. The ga Oh, the gasping. Okay. Yeah, possibly. I don't know. Maybe. I'm not a doctor. I mean, maybe he was getting bad sleep, but also maybe it was the copious amounts of alcohol that was consumed. <laughs> Yeah, that's the key to a good night's rest chat, is to just get hammered to the point that you pass out. Yeah. Easy. You can tell that you slept really well because when you wake up and you're still super tired, that's just how deep in sleep you were. <laughs> that's what a hangover is. I've never seen Shadow and Bone or the Nevers. I don't I don't know about how to how to like compare those two. Yeah, I've never seen either of those two either. All right. We got about four minutes left on the giveaway. Exclamation mark moist in the chat to enter. Giving away a big old Cthulhu dice tower. Uh, Scott, it's a Kraken Fuck, dice I, tower. You know what? I thought about what it was, <laughs> and then I said the wrong fucking word. I, I, knew, I knew it. God damn it. Yes. Like double psyched out yourself. Yes, Kraken. Kraken. It's a Kraken, guys. It's totally a Kraken. You put your finger in it like that. Mm-hmm. You got to feel those print lines. Yeah, yeah. Feeling the print lines. Really just fucking get all the way up there. Okay. Anyways, exclamation mark moist in the chat. I'm such a fucking degenerate. Um, to win this fucking sick-ass ice hour. Um, Scott, please. Sorry. <laughs> Doing tiny tufts. You're a tiny tuft. No. Rude. There's a, a very important terrain feature on this zombie dragon's base that I want Evan to take note of. Wow, that's rude. So <laughs> it's also a different sub faction, so it's I fine. Know. I know. I was like, should I paint it black? With there's just be like very on the nose, and I was like. I want it to be like identifiable as a stormcast like immediately, um, but yeah, I put a little sad boy there in my uh, in my pond, a little shallow pool. I got one more left. Yeah, I got one more left. Always BM your friends with dead bodies on the base. Yes. Uh, it's not lore accurate because when stormcasts die, they get transported back up on a lightning wave. They explode. <laughs> Do their bodies actually get reclaimed? Yeah, because they explode. Oh. When they die, they explode in a fiery burst of lightning as they get reclaimed. That's pretty sick, actually. Yeah. Uh, Angry Medic. Thank you for the sub. We appreciate it. And Star Wars Geek underscore. Hey. Speaking of Andor. Subscribing with Prime for eight months. God damn. All right. Skelly's. Got their tufts. They're just gonna get the black base for him, but I'm gonna do all the bases at the same time. Let's start working on this base. Crazy Maker Nerd, thanks for the party rating at three. I appreciate it, my dude. One minute left in that giveaway. Exclamation mark moist to win you a nice dice tower. All right, we're gonna start with doing some reeds. Uh, reeds. Reeds. Those are some tough skelly boys. Nice. Um. These are just like basically like like long synthetic brushes that have been like dyed a certain color. 
I have I didn't do that process. Someone else did. Um, but that's effectively what I'm like working with here. Um, they seem to be stuck together at the bottom with some kind of adhesive. They're um, reedy and weedy. So weedy. So I'm gonna tear off a little chunk. And I think as it stands right now, yeah, this is a little little bit too tall. So we'll just chop off the bottom skosh and then super glue it out. I'm gonna get some, is my accelerant out? It is, excellent. Um, scissors. Scissors. Ooh, ech. Ooh, elk. And now this is El Chef. El Chef est bon. Okay. Wait, how am I seeing that, uh, that name again? I only had to try to pronounce it once. I must have gifted us up earlier. Something like that. I was really shocked when I saw your army case all bent up. Apparently they made their undead minions safe. Indeed. Uh, a lot of people were saying that was a good advert for the, for the case company that it survived TSA. Um, and yeah, if you guys are curious, it's an it's a A case alpha or I think it's short for alpha, but it's a A case. That's the name of the website. And there, there are two two approaches to this argument. On the one hand, it survived that well enough that the minis were productive and it did its job. On the other hand, if it was just tougher, it wouldn't have bent. Yes, that is true. It could have survived without any damage, which would have been even better. But even the result is acceptable, and what else is acceptable is we're picking our winner. Double D's minis. Hey, I just saw that guy in chat. Actually, he mentioned that I was wearing an Alamo Draft House shirt. I have no idea how you could just figure that out just from seeing a portion of the first word on my shirt, but I am indeed wearing that. All right, Alamo Draft House. Let's go. All right, so here's here's the deal, Double D. Double D. Uh, Uh, click on that message from Miniac in the chat. Hit whisper. Send your full name, your email address, and your shipping address. We're going to get this... Uh, uh, I almost did it myself. Crack and Dice Tower off to you. I'm a professional, Scott. I never make a mistake like that. How could you? Never, ever. Fuck! trying to get it to stand up a little bit and then I'm going to hit it with some accelerant but it ain't happening so I'll just hold it in place with the tweezers and then get the accelerant ready with my left hand ah oh, you fuck sick all right, and then when I put in the water effects, that'll secure it down even more. All right, Ooh, almost knocked over my accelerant. Dip the end in accelerant? I certainly could do that. That sounds like a great idea. All right, let me, uh, let me kind of fluff this out a bit. I don't want there to be fucking curly bits. Okay, let's do another one, but like maybe like a little bit shorter or a little bit taller. Let's get some variety up in here. Also, maybe I won't like fuck it up. I like lost so much of the grass while I was trying to figure out how to make it work. This will be a little bit thicker. Thick. Thick. I'm going to do the reverse. I'm going to put the accelerant on the base and then I'm going to put super glue on the grass. I think that'll be easier for me. Bad dragon fluffing. Man, this stream is wild. Yeah, dude, you got to fluff. Scott, do you know what bad dragon is? Uh, I've heard the phrase before. I can't recall immediately what it is. I'm sure, sure someone in chat will uh, be willing to paint an illustrative picture using words. Oh, man. 
This is fucking annoying. Okay. There is some amount of grass attached. Yay. Azathos has the right of it. Imagine using that <clears throat> Kraken dice pooper to insert into a human orifice. Okay, so it's some fucked up sexual shit. I mean, they're, they are toys for adults that are based off of fantasy creatures. Okay. They're dildos. Yes. You gonna say dildos? I mean, I could, but it's more fun to be cagey about it. Are we, uh, we, are we afraid of dildos over here? Yes. <laughs> yes. Don't kink shame, Scott. Am I kink shaming? I don't know. Unless your kink is kink shaming. Oh my God. <laughs> We've gone full circle. Oh no. What do I do now? never struggled so much with putting these reeds on. I think it's because there's a giant dragon looming over top, getting in the way. Like an asshole. All right. Oh God, get off my fingers. All right, we got some stray dogs here we gotta take care of. Oh, are they stuck in there? They're stuck in there. All right, let's trim it up. First, close the super glue thin. Because, man, let me tell you, one hyper product you don't want to tip over on your desk, it ain't known oil. It is super glue thin. That will ruin your day. Take for a good stream, though. It would. But it ain't happening today, chat, so don't get your hopes up. All right, we got some nice little thin bits. We'll put one in this one over here. Don't want to obscure that very important dead body too much. Uh, this is like the bottom half of one of the reeds that I popped off and obviously that's a little bit too uniform So let's see if we can't Make it look what you do to the camera. Did you mac, mac it with your head? Yeah, I did if I Don't get seasick chat chat you're fine All right, that looks varied enough. Okay. We'll put some super glue down first this time, and then we will we'll dip some accelerant on the grass. We'll use, we'll use the viewer's suggestion. This one's a little bit easier to get at, so it shouldn't be too hard. Nope. Right. That worked nicely. Appreciate the suggestion, chat. I vomited on my keyboard. Gonna have to send you the bill. What? Why? Because the camera was shaking slightly. Oh, you got seasick? My, my, my apologies. You're making me seasick. Okay. We got some fun grass. Cool. Let's put the water effect in now. And we'll, for this, we're just going to use my Podge Dimensional Magic because it works. It's not like resin or anything. I suppose I could use resin. I have some UV curing resin and I've never used it before, but I don't know if I have batteries for the flashlight. literally get called in the HR office right as you guys start talking about dildos. <laughs> like, oh no, did they hear? Wouldn't the bigger problem be that you're sitting there watching a, <laughs> a mini painting stream instead of doing your job? <laughs> fun, this little, fun little work story about my, my antics may be coming to an end. I finally have been caught. So, what? Uh, antics? Yes, antics. Uh, so the uh, annual Christmas party for the uh, radio station group that I work for is coming up, 
and I normally bring my best friend as my plus one because it's a free meal at a fancy hotel and we just hang out and get some free drinks and stuff, right? Right. And every year I put in a fake name for him. Sometimes that's a phrase as opposed to a name. And I think finally this year someone actually manually reviewed it and went, wait a minute. Because I put in this year as his first name, your friend, and his last name, Mike, because his name's Mike. <laughs> I got a message. How do you want his name to appear? And I, I did respond with, as written. <laughs> but like, you know, we've done, uh, I believe the, the one in 2019, he was uh, Mike, a.k.a. the party starter. <laughs> you know, on his little printed name tag. Love it. Big fan. Uh, I'd, I'd have to look at my, my records, but every year he's had a fake name that he's come with. He's come with like five or six times over the last 10 years. But no one's stopping you, right? No one's stopping me, but I think that this time someone manually reviewed it. And so they're they're probably going to just make it Mike, which is too bad. They're going to crack down on you? Yeah. You like the Mod Podge as a water effect? Yeah. You know, this is kind of a bigger pool, so it may end up being like too much. Um, but we'll see on, on smaller pools on bases. I, I think it's more than sufficient. I'm going to take some glass beads here. It's actually nail art beads. Um, and I'm going to sprinkle them on. You almost can't see them and, and you might not even see them in the final result. Uh, but these will be like little bubbles in the water as uh, this Stormcast Eternal's body heats up to uh, supercharged temperature as he explodes and is ascended. He's uh, heating the swamp water around him. That's what I'm saying as my narrative. And I'm sticking to it, but we'll see. I know it's gonna shrink a little bit. All acrylic products do as they dry and cure, um, but it'll probably be okay, I think. We'll see though. Someone came in and said, hey, can you check my stream to see if the cams are coming through clear, please? What? <laughs> Just go look on your own stream. That's funny. All right. It's just a nice little trick to get us all to tune in. Yeah. Actually, throw that guy's stream up in this. Uh, throw, throw his stream up right now in our stream. All right. Let's no. do it. Give me one second. <laughs> I'm joking. Dude. I'm joking. <laughs> All right, I think we need some more. We need some more Mad Pedge. Do the other puddle and UB resin to compare. Yeah, that would have been the smart thing. We don't do the smart thing here. No, never. This will dry clear though. Dog hair. All right, cool. And then as that cures, we'll just chuck a bunch of vegetation on this base here. Speaking of uh, the base, what exactly is that material? Like what? the mud or whatever it is. Oh, it is uh, AK Interactive's wet mud. It looks like wet mud. Yes. Well done, AK Interactive. You did it again. I know. And the nice thing is, you know, it doesn't require any painting. It's just like done right away. And that's always nice. Do the reads by every skull make sense? Do they need to make sense? I don't know if anyone's gonna look at that and be like, hey. They don't make sense, Scott, they make dollars. Yes, I'm making money with this model. <laughs> no, but yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna look at the model and be like, I noticed that all of the skulls had reads by them. Is that realistic? It's like, no one's gonna say that. Um, it's just for convenience so that, that the reads have more surface area to uh, work with the super glue on. The dragon makes sense. Yeah. Dollar dollar bills. 
I think the right thing to do would be to like probably have some st a static grass applicator and apply like a decent amount of grass to this this base. But uh, that would have been a smart thing to do before I had put a dragon on it. Um, and it, sadly, I put the dragon on it before I had primed it. So I can't do that. I don't really want to get static grass all over the dude. Ijama wants to know, do you think Soul Blight are a good army for beginners? Looking at starting them, but never played before. I don't know if I know enough about AOS to say what army is good for beginners. Um, I would say that Stormcast are and aren't. They aren't from a list building perspective because they have a million war scrolls, but they're pretty easy to play because they are beefy. Beefy. Yeah. And it's a relatively low unit count build. But... My, my advice is to just buy the army that's most appealing for you because you're going to play the game wrong no matter what because it's ludicrously, outrageously complicated. <laughs> yeah, that's my advice too. Like, just, just go for it, man. As, and, and playing Soul Black Grave Lords, I'm not like blown away by like how complicated or not complicated they are. They're, they're just like another race in AOS. Um, there's a lot of shit to remember every single turn. Um, and you'll remember more and more of it the more you play, um, which is kind of what it just comes down to. Speaking of remembering things, I'm actually going to apply the texture paste to this m model because it's going to dry while I finish the dragon. Uh, someone said Soulbind isn't too bad. Oh, here's Vince. Vince, Vince would be the person to ask this question. Yeah, some, someone said. Yeah. <laughs> uh, SPG ain't too bad. It's sort of a, it's sort of middling. Uh, we did a show on this on Warhammer Weekly. Let's get a link to that, actually. Uh, Vince, can you? I, I think I can pull it up because I know which episode he's talking about. Okay, I yeah. It. Like these are these are the guys you want to ask this question to, um, and they have a whole show dedicated to Age of Sigmar called Warhammer Weekly. It's been running for like some ludicrous amount of time with literally no downtime, even when Vince was actually hospitalized. Um, so. If you want a shorter rely on, don't rely on this one. Rely, rely on Warhammer Weekly. Every Wednesday, he talks about AOS. But yeah, one of the shows talks about uh, beginner. Uh, yeah, the best starter races. armies. And he and he made the same point, point that I did, which is that Stormcast have a quarter million things in their book, and you have no way of knowing what's good and what's not. But besides that, I think that they're fine from an approachability standpoint. There's no super crazy rules. It's just, you know it's incredibly daunting to do list building initially. Yeah, it does seem that way. Vince, how was your weekend after hosting all these rap scallions? Are you just completely wiped out tired? Rap scallions. That's I can't think of a better term. That's a good word. It is. Nice mud stick. How long have you had that thing? Oh, I don't know. Forever. <laughs> it's kind of just been in my uh, drawers forever, and I have uh, moved it wherever the drawers go. It keeps getting shorter and shorter, though. It's like clip off the tip and shave it down and stuff. about Kathy's Twitter right now? There's so many things to talk about. There are. I don't know why this makes it feel like a holiday stream all of a sudden, Scruffy, but I'm on board. <laughs> John, you know me. 
I'll call you a rap scallion six days a week. I take the day off on Sunday. All right. Let's make sure this base room is nice and free of any basing gunk. It is. Go sit over there for now. <laughs> Mike Genie says, my kid asked me the other day if my Ninjan dice tray was for nachos because cheese goes in the middle and the chips go around the outer ring. I and mean, it works. Uh, honestly, yeah, do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's limited edition. Can't tarnish that shit. You just buy two, one for your nachos and one for your dice. What's something that happened at VintiCon that Scott and John doesn't want us to know about? Hmm. Spill the beans, Vince. What happened? Daryl, 100% use that shit for nachos. Yeah, that sounds like a Daryl thing to do. All right, I think I'm just gonna keep sticking tufts to this thing until I want to die, um, because this base is the size of a dinner plate, um, and it can it can take it. Oh, I also want to put some dirty down moss on this base. I think I'll do that after I'm done with the tufts and stuff. Tufts and stuff. Oh, I got some of this vine stuff. Ooh, I love me some vine stuff. Okay. Cheese cubes is dice. Oh, man. So when you roll a one, you can just eat it. That's satisfying. I think cheese dice would show up well on stream. I guess it depends on what kind of cheese. Dice attrition would be brutal. Yeah, that's why you got to eat them. I mean, eating dice is definitely still a form of attrition, right? I suppose so. Rufus, he actually addressed that earlier in the stream, but I wanted to pop it up here. How well did you adhere to your personal challenge of always painting if, if Vince did, Scott? I mean, I, you got John and Vince in the chat. Um, I, and they can attest to this. I think I wasn't there the first day, so I don't know how much painting they did. But I think maybe if you had to like tally up average painting per day, I think it might have been number one. Maybe. So I didn't I didn't struggle too hard because as Vince just said, they were they were kind of chillaxing more. Um, and uh, I was I was slinging that paint, you know. All I had to do was paint. So that's all I did. The first time that I was there, we played a game of AOS, like and demoed. Um, a game and played D and D, like we did all that stuff. This time. We did demo one of the games, but I, I, other than that, I was just I was just painting the entire time. We're sitting at my painting desk doing nothing. Oh, we did go to a we did go to a hobby store. I forgot about that. That was fun. Let's go to a hobby store. Sounds like Vince has got a couple in his neck of the woods. He did well, but only because I showed him mercy. <laughs> yes. Effectively, that is true. Yeah, when is VinceyCon going to become a public event where we just all go to Vince's house? When Kathy says that she can feed everyone. <laughs> it's up to Kathy. Hundreds of people. Thousands of people. Scott, did you see anything at the hobby store that you wish your store had? Mm, I don't think so. I think I'm pretty blessed with the source. And so they had a lot of cool things though. They had like a, they had a case for uh, people to show off like commission painting services that were local to the area. Um, and they also had like, uh, like, 
discounted models people sold to the store you could buy at a discount, like one-offs. Like if you wanted to buy like a stray Cavalite Warrior, like you could do that. And you might have some paint on them, but that's always like a really cool feature. I always like that about stores that do that. What about um, things that that store does that you wish the store source does? I mean, I wasn't really there for an extended period of time, so I didn't really see any like events or, or anything like that. <laughs> wow, relax. Don't worry, the mystery rag curtain engineer is here. Thank God. Thank God Jake is here. Game Center had a crazy sale last week. Not sure if it's still going on. Kian B, thanks for 100 bits. Vinci Con at a convention center where Vince just wanders around. Hundreds of paint tables making sure everyone is painting. Yeah, there it is. Everyone's head down. Make, oh, it's it a done. painting marathon for sure. Yeah, yeah. If you're caught not painting, you get ejected. <laughs> it's like an, it's an elimination tournament. Yeah, you have to have someone follow you to the bathroom just to make sure that you're still painting while you're in the bathroom. <laughs> fucking prison basically yeah yeah uh taking a crap would be a two-person affair because someone would have to hold a model so you could paint one-handed while you wipe your ass <laughs> oh. original applesauce subscribing with prime nine months in a row engineering scott's triangle of rage since 2018 hey what up jake how you doing man Good to see you in the chat. Seems like a sweatshop with extra steps. Yeah, we're all painting Vince's armies. No, he doesn't need help with that. What if that's his secret? <laughs> he employs sweatshops. Vince actually doesn't even paint that much. He just has sweatshop labor. That'd be the biggest twist of 2022. <laughs> Vince Venturella's heel turn. <laughs> Turns out I've had slaves painting my army. Slaves to my darkness. <laughs> I knew it wasn't possible all along. <laughs> Gamer buckets. Yeah, what a fucking what a fucking word. I hate that word. Buckets? Gamer buckets. That's two words. To poop in. <laughs> yes, fine. Just buckets. Public VincyCon is how Fantasy Flight gets X-Wing minis painted. <laughs> Why is, what, what, what is funny about that? Pre-painted minis. Sweatshop labor. Ah, uh, okay. I got you. I got you. All right, we need some bushes. Hoop sock. Did I miss the giveaway? You did. We gave away a sick dice tower. Y'all don't have pee buckets at your paint station? Not yet. I mean, I have a garbage can. I could just pee into the garbage can. All right, we need some, we need some bushes now. In order for that garbage can to become a gamer bucket, you need to add RGB, Scott. Mm. Around the outside? And the inside. Just in rainbow mode? Yeah. Okay. Can make that happen. I got an RGB strip laying around somewhere. Storm Dragon Derg, or Deep Rock Galactic, subscribed with Prime 11 months in a row. Woo! One more month and you get to a year. Thank you, Storm Dragon Deep Rock Galactic. By poop sock, you mean basing texture applicator. Oh my gosh. That's recycling at its finest. You just poop into a sock and then apply it to your base? Yeah, I'm going to get a colostomy bag so I can win at VinceCon. Ugh. This is just getting worse and worse. Uh, the Idiot Painter, we actually went over the case debacle earlier in the stream, so uh, check out the VOD after we're done. It's about, I don't know, 10 minutes in, 15 minutes in where we uh, go through the whole story. Yeah, and short of that, we, I'm also going to talk about it on the podcast because I know that we have different audiences in both places. So mm -hmm. if you listen to the podcast, I will also talk about it there.
I don't know how gruff, gruff, I don't know how great tufts are at like covering a large portion. I don't know. It seems like whenever you put tufts on a base, it just doesn't, it seems like the majority of the base is still dirt. I guess I can just keep applying stuff here and see what happens. Yeah, I found when I was doing my, uh, my night's watch, the answer was just to keep putting on tufts. Yeah. And until basically the whole base was covered. And then it so suddenly looked better than any static grass because it now was like a big variety of flowers and moss and whatever. But yeah, that would definitely help. All right, do I have, I think I have other types of tufts as well. I don't know if I want to put flowers on here. It doesn't seem like a very flowery kind of kind of person. The dark tide is good. Add the thought says kind of underwhelmed by it personally. I haven't played it yet. Um, I literally just started playing it last night. Oh yeah, did you play Vermintide at all? Um, I have played maybe eight hours of Vermintide total. Okay. Uh, not because I didn't like it, but because my friend that bought it for me was like, yeah. You need to play this game. It's so great. And then we played like two sessions and then they moved on to another game. I was like, okay, well, you bought it, so I don't really care. <laughs> um, so far, I'm enjoying, enjoying Dark Tide. It's yeah. fine. Uh! Just got stabbed in the face by this guy's Deathlands. more tufts. I like the combat more than Vermintide, but the map variety seems lacking. Have you played Dwarf Fortress? I have not. What is that? Dwarf Fortress is... Yeah, I expect you to know this. Um, it says Dwarf in it. it. It is one of the most absurdly detailed simulations with one of the most absurdly non-detailed graphical interfaces. Up until its new Steam release over, like, last week, um, it was represented entirely through text, like oh. ASCII graphics. Okay, yeah, I know this. I have a, I had a friend, my lab mate in college, uh, was huge into this game. The text is what reminded me of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have no idea what, what you do in the game, though. Um, you, you build fortresses with dwarfs or okay. go on adventures with dwarfs. All right. Uh... But it is absurdly there's there's one of the stories is that by adding eyelids simulation, <laughs> it caused all the cats in the game to die. What? They would get drunk. There was like it's this whole thing. Cause it's actually simulating like decision making and stuff. Okay. And uh it's um it's absurd. The whole thing is just absurd. This is like an actual bug in the in the game? Yes, I did spell out ASCII. Uh, it was, it's, I mean, it's a bug, but it's one of those, everything is working as it was told to kind of bugs, not like a, something just broke. Well, that's how all bugs work. Don't you know? Yeah, it's just, it depends. Aside from hardware failure, every single bug is doing, is the computer doing it what the engineer told it to do? That's fair. That's the sad part. About and sometimes what the engineer told it to do is just break. Yep. Yeah. No, this is, this is more along the lines of, Okay. If that's what you want me to do, this is the logic I'm going to follow. <laughs> Are we getting swamp vibes here, chat, or what? Are we swampy yet? I'm into the micro tough stage now. I have so many tiny little pools of super glue on all these different pieces of baking paper that these tufts are attached to that I, uh, I don't know where to turn to. No clip did an episode on Dwarf Fortress that's really good. What clip? No clip. No clip. Never heard. One of today's 10,000. Uh, no clip is a uh, independent film studio that m mostly makes documentaries on the making of games. Oh, okay. That's cool. Uh, they also have a podcast about it, but they, uh, they've done some other stuff, but that's pretty much their jam is that they get behind the scenes access. They have a whole documentary on the making of Hades that you'd really enjoy probably. Oh yeah, I would definitely enjoy that. Uh, Speaking of Hades, oh, we 
already talked about it because it happened during the gaming stream, literally. Hades 2 getting announced. Yep. Is this the new Swamp Boggler ar army John was talking about? Yes. We're boggling. Can't stop boggling. Can't stop. Will not stop. Oh, yeah. Rufus Kit wanted me to ask, what did you guys eat at VincyCon? What was on the menu? So day one when I wasn't there, they went and got delicious ramen at a restaurant. I was very sad that I wasn't there. But day two, we had some uh, salted pork uh, and a Caesar salad and some, some rice on the side. Uh, and then we had, Kathy made a whole ass turkey. Uh, the breasts and like, the, and like the main cavity of the turkey was boneless. And then the thigh and the legs had bones. And so we had that, another Caesar salad, some delicious garlicky mashed potatoes. Uh, and then for lunches, we had like, um, we, we bought pizza one day. Um, honestly, there were so many snacks that like, I probably didn't need to eat any formal meals, but that probably would have been good for my GI. Um, Cause I'm man, dude, this might be TMI, but day, day, day four of me leaving there, I pooped five times. I was in a, I was in a dark place. What there. you're telling me is that it was a rectal Ragnarok. Oh my God, it was. And it was like in the airport too. It was terrible. That, that was actually part of the mystery is that while I was waiting for my bag to go through that fucking TSA scanner, I was like, I got shit. And I was like, I know you're not supposed to leave your bag at an airport, let alone at the fucking TSA security thing. And so I was like, there was, <laughs> there was an agent nearby. And I was like, hey, I gotta go, I gotta go to the bathroom. Can I go? And so then I, he's like, yeah, that's fine. And so then I went and came back in like a minute. And then there was some kind, there was some mild pandemonium about something getting stuck. And so I wasn't, I wasn't there for the whole thing. That's why you always carry an extra poop sock. <laughs> hey, but I'm ballpointing here. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what happened. I was like, uh, we, have, uh, we have a medical emergency right now with my butthole. It's firing on all cylinders. But yeah, um, there was, there were so many snacks. There was a box. I don't know if you could get this. You might've gotten to like Costco or something like that, but there was a box of just full size candy bars, a box. And I was, I was just sitting there just eating Hershey's candy, Hershey's chocolate, like a fucking 10 year old. It was incredible. So yeah, it was great. Vacations do be like that though. Kinda, yeah. <laughs> All right. That's so it. what are we going to do for this game stream we've got this week, Scott? Um, I don't know. What should we do? I mean, we can get Bega in for some Marvel Crisis Protocol. We could do that. We could do that. We could play Space Station Zero solo. We could do that. We could do that. <laughs> yeah, I've always called it Prairie Dogging from uh, as a reference to Rat Race. Yeah, that's what I call it, too. I like ballpointing, though. That's a fun one. Yeah, that's good. Um, I don't know. I mean, like, I'd like to invite you to play on stream but then who runs the stream you know who runs the stream you're, you're the guy all right that was the perfect amount of micro tufts let's see what else i got The uh, moss effect should also help tie everything together. But... Yeah, I think that is true. I hope Vince isn't on a septic tank. <laughs> <clears throat> Luckily, half of those poops were at the airport that day. But aside from that, there was still like, I don't know four of us, four adult males there just eating snacks constantly. So that probably wasn't good. Pram Underhill. Oh, nice. I just got done painting that model. It went with bright purple skin like it was a ghoul. Any airplane poops? No, I got it all I got it all dealt with, luckily, before I got on the airplane. Because we got there pretty early. We had some time to sort out our bowels. Jesus Christ. What a conversation. Scott, have you ever had a poop so bad on an airplane that uh, people thought you were in distress? <laughs> no. I have. <laughs> I have. <laughs> is this a story? Is this story time? 
there's not there's not much to that story uh, that, that's kind of it that's kind of it okay <laughs> sir are you okay oh boy the, uh no yeah. <laughs> uh do me goo me says i once shat and threw up on an airplane at the same time yikes <sighs> that's uh that's not a good time <laughs> John also says, I shit straight fireball cinnamon whiskey for the whole first day Scott was there. Oh my god, yeah. He went a little hard day one. So I got there. John, what is it with you and fireball? What is it with him in day one of the con? Of any con? <laughs> he just goes insane. <laughs> the it's the child leaving supervision for the first time thing you mean i can eat all the candy i want yeah i got there and him and sam and vince came to pick me up at the airport and i got in the car and i looked at him and i was like did i i know i know what happened <laughs> you just see i could see it in your face because it was like it was like 10 a.m that's like kind of early if you stay up until like five in the morning uh <laughs> yeah love this ivy stuff from army painter but i don't think they make it anymore but i spray painted it black and so it's kind of like black ivy with these little leaves it's good i like it con john that's what it is <laughs> i mean yeah it's cinnamony it tastes great all i know about fireball whiskey is that a neighbor of mine uh drinks the little bottles and for a while would throw them in my yard until i yelled at him about it Wow. What did he say to that? Was he like, oh, I didn't think you minded. <laughs> He's like, what uh, the fuck's wrong? You, you got really, really close, actually. <laughs> These people are so fucking stupid. Like, <laughs> makes me so angry. <laughs> Listen, He's a pretty good neighbor, but he does really like to ride around on his bike, completely blasted on Fireball about <laughs> once a week during the summer. God damn, dude. And he makes he makes poor decisions about how to dispose of the bottles. I think it's what it boils down to. Okay. He's like a shitty mailman, just like running around, <laughs> putting fucking Fireball in people's mailboxes. Happy birthday. Yeah, pretty close. All right. Oh, we got some of these things. Fireball whiskey plus apple cider is a good combo, according to Azathoth. I mean, I bet, dude. That sound that sounds like a good fit. That does, yeah. Okay, I got some leaves, some leaf litter, as you can see here. Leaf glitter? Yes, I mean, effectively. Um, this stuff is a little bit harder to stick down like the rest of the stuff that I've been using. It, Those are some green leaves. I know, it benefits more from like doing that technique you might see on Luke Towen's channel or like any terrain channel where they like put down a lot of basing material and then soak it all in um, various kinds of, you know, isopropyl alcohol to make the uh, glue spread and then more glue. And then it all kind of like uh, gets everywhere and gets all dry and nice. So I might not go too crazy with this stuff, but I also found this stuff. Um, these are like sheets. I don't really know. I don't really know how to use this stuff, honestly. I know you tear it off. I don't know if you like, there's a film on the back. I don't know if you like, I don't know if you keep the black stuff on there or you don't. Does anyone know how to use this stuff? Like this stuff on like a, a backing sheet. Um, again, there's a film to it. And then there's a black thing on the back. And in the past, I've torn off everything, including the black stuff, and glued it down. But that does not seem how you're supposed to use this. I think you're supposed to just tear it like that, eh? Heat gun? Scott, bro, you just eat it. Fuck. <laughs> All right, well, I got salad sorted for tonight. Tear it off from the black with tweezers in small clumps. Does the black stuff melt with heat? Why, why is my chat's first inclination to involve fire? Because they're well-educated individuals. 
who know that fire solves all problems. <laughs> See? Everyone agrees. I don't know if I want to include little cute flowers, but fuck it, who cares? Fire bad! <laughs> It's used a lot on the set. It's used a lot on set productions like at Weta. Weta. You rye a sheet, you rip a sheet of it and place it where you want. The heat gun melts the black, which is glue. Start a pole between, start a pole between fire good and fire bad. <laughs> I think I know what direction that's going to go. You might be right about the heat thing. And maybe you just like get a whole big sheet of it and you just like stick it down um, to like a large board and then, then it kind of like melts in place. But for the purposes of like doing a base like this, probably need to be more delicate. The tearing is working though, cause you get like fun little clumps of like, what the fuck is that? You know, that looks cool. It's like, I don't know, some kind of flowery thing. And the whole thing with basing is just getting a nice variety, you know? Don't stick to my finger. Chat, let us know in the poll whether you believe that fire good or fire bad. Oh God. My fingers are going to be caked in super glue. Fire hot. Could you heat it up away from the model and then stick it on before it cools? I don't I don't know if heat's necessary at all. <laughs> I think just tearing it off of that black board, which maybe you're not supposed to do um, if you're using this product as it's like normally intended to be used by like terrain and model makers, but for like, for doing a base, tearing it off of that blackboard kind of gives you these really interesting, nice little clumps. And so now I have like these little, just tiny little flowery bits. I like them, they look nice. It's looking great. Okay, um, let's do some of this leaf scatter. Oh, hold on, I got one of these flowery bushes. I see, I want to see what happens when Scott uses a heat gun on a mini. Can only <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> we could we could be more experimental about that. Incredible Mr. Edible. Love that name. Subscribing with Prime. If you guys didn't know, you can attach your Amazon Prime account to Twitch. Create a Twitch Prime sub. You can sub to one channel for free a month. And you have to re-up it. It doesn't happen automatically. So you can pick a new channel each month. Uh, we appreciate your Prime subs. This channel. It's uh it doesn't cost anything. It's just part well, of being an Amazon Prime customer. Yeah. It costs you Amazon Prime. Yes. If, if you don't, yeah, if you already have it, then it doesn't. But let's be real. Everyone has Amazon Prime now. Yeah. I had it for like, I had it for free or I had it as a, on discount as a college student. And then when I became an adult, I was like, how do you live without this? And then I, then they got me. Yeah. It worked. Abso Ninja, thanks for the Prime sub, and Spray Black Studios, thank you for the Prime sub. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. They did it. They did the thing. They did it. They All did right. the thing. Oh, yeah. oh, I didn't put any fucking, did I? Did I put bubbles in this one? It looks like I did. I think I did. All right. We're going to put some leaf scatter on the base now. I'm going to get some on the water. Where are these leaves coming from? I don't know. Yeah, being a subscriber has its benefits. You get access to the Discord server. And then you can probably not chat because most of the people in the Discord server just lurk. <laughs> and that's fine. We don't mind. Except Glitchy. Glitchy probably minds because he minds everything. <laughs> that she wants you to be involved. Okay. 
certainly that was enough greenery. Um, but now I need to stick down all of this flora and fauna or just, just flora. John taught me recently that fauna is animals and flora is plant life. And I've been saying flora and fauna like it was just like both plant lives, but I'm, I'm wrong about that. <laughs> Glitchy is allergic to whatever it is you're doing right now. True. <laughs> All right, so I have some scenic glue right here. And this is a combination of PVA glue, water, I think uh, Flow Improver, and also either Mod Podge or any kind of matte medium. Uh, you just want to make it matte because otherwise scenic glue has a tendency to dry a little glossy. You don't want that. You want it just to kind of blend in with whatever you're doing. Um, the Flow Aid helps with uh, the capillary action or capillary action. If you're not Australian, I've been watching too much uh, Zorba Zorp. Um, and then obviously the glue helps with the adhesive. Um, to further assist the capillary action, um, if you just put down a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, that helps it spread a lot more. So I'll get out two little cups here. We'll put glue in one, iso in the other, and then we'll get to, we'll get to it. We'll get to pipetting on some iso and glue. Al Murray wants to know, I'm going to paint a 12K Necron army in matte metal. Any advice? And I mean, my, my advice is the game is called 40K, Chief. You need to buy another uh, another 28K points. <laughs> uh, this is a pretty high tech stream. I'm getting comfy here. I don't know if you're being uh, facetious, but we appreciate we appreciate the, the kind words. If not, um, I mean. I feel like I'm going to say the exact same thing that everyone else says, right? Like they're, they're Necrons. Don't go too crazy with the paint job. You can combine like at that scale, everything matters, right? Every paint step that you pick matters and it's going to slow down the process. So like if you can find a primer that's silver, there you, there you go. You just saved priming a bazillion different models. Yeah, depending on how matte you want that metal to look, like if you're looking for something that has a more brushed appearance, finding something that sprays with the appearance that you want is going to save you a lot, a lot, a lot of effort than spraying something that's like chrome and then hitting it with some sort of, you know, satin or matte varnish to give it that appearance that you're looking for. Right. So yeah, like really think about every step in your paint plan because every step is going to add on a ton of time because like at that scale, everything just explodes in time usage. All right, so I put down some isopropyl and you can kind of just see, right, how that just spreads instantly, right? Look at this bush right here. Boop, boop. It just gets absorbed instantly. And this glue is even good for the tufts that I already put down, like it's gonna, it's gonna solidify those even more. Oh, he means NMM on the whole army. Oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. I advise against that. <laughs> and I'm not even joking. Don't do it. You'll die. You'll, <laughs> you'll die. That's just, that just ain't worth it. How, what do you say, like fucking some- 12K points. Yeah, no. Of Necrons, which are I, I mean, as far as I'm aware, more one of the more spam armies. I think they're somewhere in the middle, but like, it doesn't matter. That's so many fucking models. That's a lot of dudes. Even if dude. it was custodial, they'd be like, no, don't. Uh, but look how the glue just sits on the surface there. That's without isopropyl. I don't know if it's gonna happen if I do it in the reverse order, but you see the moment I put that on there, it just instantly dissolves into the rest of the thing. So that's why this ISO is helpful. Even when there there is um, flow aid <laughs> in the glue. Mike Genie has it right. I want to make sure I really hate painting and save myself a bunch of money on miniatures in the future. True. Yeah. That, yeah. You will be once bitten, twice shy. Also, we had a couple of subs that we haven't sounded off about. Oh. The Brawl Water. Five months. We appreciate it. And Elric 
Duitch. Elric von Lichtenstein. It is not von Lichtenstein. It is Duitch. Do it. Subscribing with Prime for two months. Thank you, Brawlwater and Elric. All right, uh, uh, Almarie, when you when you want to show off the results at the end, that's fine. I'll be here in six years. Hey. Sorry, seven years. The meme is seven years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if I were this person asking this question right now, all of this doubt would just light a fire inside of me. So, like, maybe this is what you need. Maybe. Um, uh, but I don't know how long that fire would burn, Scott. That's true. Like, uh, y- y- speaking of the seven years meme, that army wasn't 12,000 points. No, it wasn't. It was not. I, I mean, like, I want to see you do this. Okay. I'll give you practical advice. If if this was, if I had to do this, if I was in prison and I can only get out, if I, if I finish this and joy wasn't the thing, I would paint a single Necron like a time until I figured out like the exact amount of effort I would need to get the effect to sell before like beginning on the entire thing. You got to really figure out like, okay, the highlight goes here. The amount of blending I need is this much. The colors I need is this much. And then you, then you can begin the batch painting, but you need to do some serious research ahead of time to figure out how little work you can do to sell the effect that, that you're happy with, right? Everyone's gonna be happy with a different level of I also result. just feel like it's the wrong army for this, both because you're gonna be dealing with really broad areas of NMM, but it's also like the army that the whole point of it is to just get out the silver spray can. Yeah, also, uh, I'm the wrong, might be the wrong person to ask. Like Eons of Battle, who might be someone who has more, a, a more of an economical approach, just had some advice in the chat. He says, do fake NMM Zenithal, then use gray speed paint or contrast paint, dry brush silver on top, best of both worlds. I've actually seen him dry brush silver on top of gray or black or, or a multiple of colors. And I've done that myself a long time ago and it looks good, like it works. I don't know if it looks like NMM, but it's definitely a fast way to get a silver effect. Yeah, having a base coat it. It also depends on what you mean by NMM as far as the blended quality and stuff. If you're doing NMM chrome, you're going to have to put in a lot more work than some sort of more just kind of broad highlights that sort of evoke NMM. All true. I mean, I want to see this happen, you know? The grumpy man likes to paint subscribing with Prime. He had to figure out how to link his accounts, reload the page, <laughs> and he did it. Uh, we oh aren't grumpy God. about that. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. Yeah, I, uh, I'll get comments every once in a while on my channel. Hey. Picked up a shirt. We did confirm, by the way, that you are able to fill out your name and a message, and it will appear on stream. It, it worked. It worked on Thursday. So that was me. Woo! Ooh, the kitten, thank you for picking up that shirt. We appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so I often get comments on my YouTube video about how I have like piercings and shit in my nose. They're like, why'd you put holes in your face, son? Yeah. Uh, why'd you ruin your body like that? <laughs> your What's bo- wrong with you? Your body is a temple. Scott, goddammit. <laughs> I didn't raise you to put all these fucking marks on your body. You're yeah. a creation of God. Yeah. So you basically summed up the way that I reply to that. I, I'm always like, dad, who, who taught you how to make a YouTube account? Like I get all these fucking old men just giving me shit about my fucking piercings, dude. What the fuck? I'm angry. Scott's just mad because his family doesn't accept the piercings. Yeah. Back in Wisconsin. That's what we all talk like in Wisconsin too. Uh, you already yeah, that's what Scott really sounds like. Yeah, yeah. He had to, he had to fight it off. I gotta dial it back for the stream. My bada, my bada, my body is a See? temple to Buddha and death core. <laughs> I know, you, you, Crimson Chaplain, you nailed it. I already have holes in my face. There we go. Now I have any, even another reply I can give to these people. Uh, does it work if you buy multiple things? Quick, someone buy 10 hoodies. Uh, obviously that was a joke, but yes, it does work. It will list them. It does a little cross dissolve between each item. My body is an ATV. <laughs> okay. Let's... Kalamazoo Pixel 2. Subscribing with Prime. Hey. Um, let's. I'm going to do a little part of this base just to make sure that I uh, mixed it enough. Did you mix it enough? I don't know. We're about to find out. All right. 
I'm gonna put a little bit on the base and then I'm gonna dry it with a hair dryer and then we'll see if it gets all mouche. All right, hair dryer ink. You ready? Uh, yeah. Con Air. Chat, what's your favorite Nicolas Cage movie? The airplane one. That would be Con Air. The vampire one. Yeah, that's good. The family man. Mandy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How has no one said The Rock yet? Raising Arizona. Yes. Yes. All right, Scott, did you shake it enough? Mm, no. No. I got to do more. It is working a little bit, but it's not working as insane as it does sometimes. Um, I haven't used the rust or the vertigray, but this is a little finicky. I'm not going to lie. I haven't like fully understood what separates it from when it works like amazingly and when it doesn't work amazingly. I mean, that's looking pretty good. The longer I wait and sit here, it gets better and better. Yeah, you got to let those salt crystals form. Is that actually what it is? Is it salt crystals? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Uh, Huddleston, I, th um, I think it works well when you... Maybe... They, I've never heard that before. It doesn't work well when you hair dry it. There was the theory about, like, heat impacting the results. I mean, they say that you should... Uh, have the thing that you're putting it on or the bottle or both be hot. They say that? Yes. Oh. I did and not know they said that. Okay, interesting. Rufus also is right. You can uh, do some dilution with water on there to get a more variety of textures. But yeah, it's um, based based off of its uh, chemical call-outs and our, our, a chemist at the store, it appears to be basically a type of salt that's got some other stuff in it. Oh. Yeah, you, you hair dry and heat up the model first. Um, this is dirty down moss, although they're rust and um, the other one. Why can't I remember the third one? Uh, vertigree. Yeah, the vertigree. Um, Look at that. All three of them have a interesting... 3D quality to them because they build up crystals. Yeah. Yeah. Like liquid now is working insanely well. So obviously the deepest part of the crack, which has most of the moss stuff, isn't fully dry yet. But around the edges where I'm kind of just like dabbing this brush, you're getting these super interesting mossy textures. Like that is incredible. <laughs> Sam Lynn said the moss didn't work for him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Wait, is Rufus saying to put the bottle against your body to warm it? <laughs> Just keep it in my pocket like gummy bears. <laughs> that looks insane. All right, like no product does that in a bottle that I'm aware of. Um, you can, again, you can do it with acrylic paint, but like this is just so fucking easy. But it costs a lot of money, so. Yeah, it's like like 19 bucks a bottle or something. Yeah, that's fucking insane. I, I don't know if that's worth it, chat. Uh, I think it is. I have an affiliate code. And I'm saying I don't know if that's worth it. So uh, the reason the reason I say I think it's worth it is because it is the only product in miniature painting I have ever used that is truly a one step and you've got it. Like when it's working right, the rust uh, replaces like five different products. Where it's like, yo, yeah, normally you'd be painting on like a brown and a texture and maybe some streaking grime and AK rust and you know, like a, a lighter brown or red color and you'd be doing all this work and it's like, or you could just take the dirty down rust and go boop, done. Boop. <laughs> Bless you. Let's get some moss around these shallow pools.
Put a little on those skulls. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Basically, wherever moisture is going to get trapped. Loud noises. You had an affiliate code. Lol. No, I still do. Rip, I mean, rip, 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 rip. I still, ha I mean, like, I, if, if it's all up to you, right? Like, you can see what it does. It does work. It says what it does. It's a little bit finicky. Um, if you think it's worth the money, that's kind of up to you. The other thing I really like about this product is if you don't get the result you want, it washes off. That is true. The the one big downside to that is you can't really seal this stuff very effectively. If you put a varnish, what happens? Uh, you have to be very, very light with the varnish okay. because once it gets saturated, it can uh, reactivate. Oh, okay. So you need to like just go slowly with yeah. the varnish and layers. Yeah, like only only with an airbrush, you're never going to be able to brush on varnish. There's too much liquid. Gotcha. It's not it's not about killing it. It's just the fact that because it is some sort of salt crystal, uh, it's water soluble. So you have to be really careful, or else you destroy the the structure. Now that said, you just seal the rest of the mini and put this stuff on, and you're fine. Uh, it's very very cool. I use the rust pretty frequently. People are suggesting you put some on the dead storm cast. Ooh, sure. Yeah, using a non-acrylic varnish is probably the right play. like to experiment with what happens when I put something in Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. Like I put to me a clear in Mod Podge Dimensional Magic to kind of see what happens. I wonder what happens when I put this in there. Probably crazy shit. Mod Podge is pretty cool. It is. When you put uh, black ink in this stuff, it looks like an oil spill. It's so cool. Like sometimes, well, I'm gonna guess it's gonna dry and then continue to look crazier because that's what happened with the thing that I did the hair dryer on. All right, I think we need, there's like a bizarre just like blank spot right here in the front, which is like fine. It doesn't all need to be covered, but I'm gonna put like some micro tufts in there just to kind of fill it out a little bit more. And then this base will be done. Gash, much I've gotten that storm cast. Yeah, dude, I, I locked him away. Can't be reclaimed. His his homing beacon got destroyed. And now he's stuck in my swamps. So okay, I had an idea. I want to run it by you, chat. See if you like it. I'm not super sold on this scheme for my blood knights. Which scheme? This one. This one. Yeah. Like, I don't know if I really like it. Um. I think it looks fine for a one-off model. Like I wouldn't be upset if I painted like a, a character like this, but I don't know if I want my whole unit to look like that. And so I had an idea. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of the old Bretonian riders have all kinds of different filigree, uh, and they're and they're basically like realm knights. I think they were called or grail knights. They are knights that are brought together from various towns to be in the army together. And they, when they come together, they all wear the regalia of the respective town they came from. And so I was like, what if this particular unit of knights, unit of knights had a similar story? They were all conscripted from the various surrounding uh, manors and castles they live in. Like this is some fucking rich boy. He's got some fancy armor and it's all shiny and untarnished and shit. And then like my other characters can have similar colors, scarlet, blue, you know, greenish gold, silver, uh, but they're just organized different on the model. And every single uh, model in the unit is unique looking in its scheme. Not a single one is the same. Does that sound like a cool idea? I think that sounds awful. 
<laughs> CL Collins, thanks to the Prime sub. Um, I, I would say that there's the, the other option too, which is to have that one be the unit champion. Because that's a thing for you, right? It Where is. This this is the one that rolls an extra dice. The Castellan? Um, yeah. The sad part is, and it, that could be the leader, but the Castellan model is this one. Well, um, it, it sounds like you've made a huge error. Yeah, I didn't want to paint the fancy guy first, but he's got like the extra back wings. He's got the fucking sick mace. He's the angry one. This like, is a pretty sick mace. I think he, yeah, this, one, this one's a he. I don't Vampire know. I, I just like that color scheme in general, but thank you. I don't think your idea is a bad one. What does chat think? What does chat think? Dirty down, dirty down. Uh, I like the idea that they're still using their colors and patterns. Pretty unicorns. Pretty fun. I know they definitely got they got a unicorn vibe. I like the cobalt armor. Strip it and paint it red. Thank you, Adam Bob. What's it like your sin? Kian B says, "The last unicorn." <laughs> what are we? What are you saying? <laughs> I'm quoting Legend again. Oh, God. Every damn week. Ah, yes. Unicorns play a huge role in Legend. Uh, I thought they would be red. I mean, I have red ones. Um, this is the special unit of five. Um, Keenan B says, aren't vampire knights from different time periods? I think that would work really well. Maybe. Um, I think to sell that effect, different time periods, their armor might need to look a little different. Um, but uh, I pr I appreciate that you like the idea. Uh, let me let me just show off some of the goddamn swords in this unit. And there are a couple others that I didn't get to use because one of them had to be a banner bearer. Sad. Um, but I have the bit and I plan to use it. Uh, is that it? The last one? Yeah. Okay. Oh god. Right. Banner bearer. Like. Did we call out Collins? We CL did. CL Collins, I got Collins. Right. I didn't check that one off when you said it. So I got one for a Space Marine, different time periods. <laughs> Everyone's going faster. Yeah, dude. But look at this. Look at this goddamn sword. Are you fucking kidding me? That... Looks broken. Does it? It's kind of bent. Yeah, a little bent there at the tip. A little bendy tip. I love so, it. So that sword is really cool, but I hate it. <laughs> well, I hate you. Because uh, I, I think, I think, yeah, but. How are you going to put that in a scabbard, bro? Who you fucking cares, dude? I'm killing bitches with it. <laughs> killing bitches every day, dude. Come on. Come on. Look at this one, dude, with the hair and everything, dude. She's going to fuck you up with this thing, dude. That thing's the size of your goddamn body. That's true. Go ahead, a cavalry saber, right? Is that what we call that? Look at that basket, bro. Are you joking? Come on. All right. There's more in the sprue. I got to show them to you all. Oh, it's probably gonna fall out. Yeah, it did. Oh, like you better believe I'm saving this one. Got another basket. You're not gonna give that to Dan, you, the no. bit master? No, God, no. I keep all the vampire bits. How do you stab with that sword? I mean, they're on calves, so they're like, they're like running and slashing, not stabbing so much. I guess. This one's stabby. This one's, oh, I keep hitting the camera, I'm sorry. This one's stabby. I'm not, I'm unconvinced with the sword effect that I chose. I, I just painted it in a Molotov chrome just to make it look shiny. Chrome! Um, in the future, there is only one taboo, to love a robot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> look at that fucking sword, dude. What? Okay, yes, we've established swords in here are cool. I need no validation from anyone. Uh, speaking of, let me put this away in my little bit drawer here. Undead arms? Yes. That sounds right. Okay. All right. What were we doing? Oh yeah, we were uh, we were putting some more basing material on uh, the front of this base. We're gonna do a little speed paint at the end of the stream. Uh, the challenge for my sepulchral guard is to paint a board game mini in 30 minutes. And so I think maybe the last 30 minutes of the stream, which often like kind of loses viewers anyways, I'm going to just sit here and not talk to you all. I'm going to see if I can finish a board game model in 30 minutes. We'll all see right. how that works out. That'll be, that'll be real interesting. We should probably get that started in 15 minutes here because we want to wrap up at four. <laughs> okay. So keep it moving, Scott. We got things to do. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, man cub. 
It's our first time catching you two. What up, man, cub? I'm ready to get corrected. Oh, uh, it's M4N cub. <laughs> I love funny sounding names. Rufus, we are ending on time today so that Scott can go get robbed by someone on Craigslist. Yes. Rather my wife. Both. Both of us can get robbed. Oh, yeah. Here's my fun story for over the weekend. Yeah. Uh, my sister's car got shot up. Wow. Yeah. Life by, in the city. By an actual gun. Uh, it's got bullet holes in it. Jesus fucking Christ. She went out to her car and uh, started to drive and something didn't sound right. And she had a flat tire. And so she parked like two blocks away from her house. And sure enough, there's a couple bullet holes in the front bumper. Goddamn. Yep. That's terrifying. At least it didn't happen while she was in it. Indeed. Silver lining. Matt Wood. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. 14 put a, months. Put a tuft on it. Oh, you better believe. I'm putting a tuft on this guy. Why are we why are we getting lyrics from the jungle book in chat now? <laughs> hey, what? You're getting lyrics in the Jungle Book? Uh, Rufus Kit highlighted that the song of I, I, I Want to Be Like You. <laughs> I don't know. I don't question it. Someone really hates your sister's car. Yeah. Because Man Cub is from the Jungle Book. Ah! Oh, I see. Man Cub. Sure. Who else watched the... Uh... Eat ants? The Jungle Book cartoon that I don't think was even made by Disney. I did. On VHS tapes and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. need to base this guy yet but i kind of want to because vince Wait, was, it was a japanese this. cartoon man it's been a long time since i've seen anything from this you telling me it's been a while it's been a while it's been a while <laughs> <laughs> you say yourself up bro Scattered showers, name on point, because we are getting scattered showers right here in the Twin Cities right now. Subscribing with Prime for four months. Woo! Thank you for the sub, scattered showers. We appreciate it. How was Vincey Con? Vincey Con was great. Did you see Page Master? Fuck yeah, I saw Page Master. Movie rules. Vincey Con was great. A lot of great painting. A lot of great friends. Some good games. Some good snacks. Some good foods. It was good. Good time. All right. Holy fuck, I feel so old right now. Why? Why? I'm watching this Jungle Book show. <laughs> I'm like, man, this came out when I was born, basically. 1989, year after I was born. 1989? Yeah, I was born in 88. Oh, okay. Dang, I polished off two sheets of tufts. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I did. That tuft went running. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's like, no, I don't want to go on the base, dude. <laughs> Fucking, you're going on the base, bitch. John, we didn't watch any Love Island, bro. What the fuck? It's where I turned 33, 33 really soon here. I don't know what the fuck happened. Time comes for us all. For now. For now. So it is until we become blood knights, right? That's what happens after you die. You go into a fantasy world and you get to be the coolest thing in it. 
Yeah, I'm man, down. <laughs> I'm down, yeah. Man, Piao. Thanks for the prime sub. Love the blue armor, thank you. Just wait until 40 is closer than 30. Not yet. I don't worry about that yet. Were you the youngest person at VinceyCon? Yes. It's got to be hard for you. Uh, yeah, it's only hard because everyone's talking about shit. And then I'm like, what's that? And they're like, you haven't seen this obscure internet video? <laughs> Let's play it. And then we play it and everyone's like, actually, this kind of sucks. <laughs> no, that didn't happen that much. It happened like one time. Some little baby tufts. I want to put some of those like little pinky flowers on here and also some like of that leaf scatter, but like I just can't see myself doing that for the other knights because I'm just not going to like go through that effort. I'm only doing it because it's like out right now for the dragon, so I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna do some moss stuff. Is that the theology of the Miniac cult? I don't know. What, what is the theology? Scott the Babe, that's indeed it. I recently watched Fight Club yet recently. It wasn't bad, but not nearly as good as I remembered it being. Fight Club is still every good as a bit, every bit as good as it always was. I feel like that's I, that's kind of where I'm at. I, I think I've watched it somewhat recently, and I was kind of like, yes, yeah, this, this this tracks. I think I watched it just before the pandemic. It was either 2018 or 2019, and I was like, yep, it's still a David Fincher movie. It feels uh, the the big change is when you're when you're like 19, you're like, yeah, fuck the system, man. Yeah, and then you watch it again in your late twenties or early thirties, and you go, "Man, what a fucking deluded man child Tyler Durden is." <laughs> you like you switch sides in the movie, but the movie is still good. I think maybe the other reason why people might look at that movie more fondly, is, at least this is true for me, that was like the first real movie that I watched. Not first. Oh yeah, that's a good point. One of the first ones. I was like, I was like, holy shit! Like movies can be like this good, um, and so like yeah, some of that luster obviously wears off a little bit over time. I reference that film a lot. Whenever anyone shaves their head, I'll say like a monkey ready to be shot into space. Yeah. All right, cool. Blood Knight's got a fun swampy base that matches the rest of my army too. Um, I gotta paint the base rims. We got time for that? I think we do. Your speed paint starts in roughly five minutes. Okay, we don't. We do not. Because I gotta find the miles that I want to speed paint. Let's do it. All right. I know where I want to pull them from. And they're already assembled and shit. Swamp boggler bases, baby. Swamp boggling. Yo, right. Why did you decide to go with the blue armor on those? Like, what was your inspiration? Was it just the color remix? Yeah, it's a color remix. But I was like, okay, how do you, remix. how do you reinterpret blue? It's like you can. I, I was considering making the the rider have non-metallic blue armor, but like, you know, just normal blue paint, and then the horse was gonna be metallic blue and kind of mixing it up that way. But yeah, I was just trying to think of like different ways that I could represent blue on a on a model. All right, I'm gonna paint one of these Zombicide Undead or Alive minis because they're so fucking sexy. Undead or Alive, baby. Okay, which one of these has the least amount of detail on it? <laughs> He's trying to make the challenge easier on himself. Which one has the most detail? <laughs> See, I could grab a zombie and just like make this easy, but I don't want, I don't want to do that. I want to give it a fair shake here. This guy is so sick. 
that's probably gonna be oh, fuck. <laughs> Mike Genie says, Night of the Living Dead was in black and white, Scott. Just putting it out there. Hey, yeah, I'll just <laughs> Prime of Black, Zenith of White, GG. All right. I think I found the one. All right, I'm gonna switch the music for this. Because we gotta get hyped. And some Western music? Fortunately, I don't have a Western playlist that's copyright free. All right, uh, this guy's got a bit of a bend going right now. He's kind of leaning Here, forward. Go to the paint camera. Um, he's kind of leaning forward, but I got like this like bartender dude. But I am going to uh, heat him up with my hair dryer just so I can bend his ankles a bit before I start painting. Oh, actually, before I do that, I shouldn't use the GW one. Because when I use the GW one, it pinches the base and the base gets all bent and weird. All right, here we go. Heat dry or heat dryer. What? Hair dryer. Ah, uh, yeah. It's the speed paint music. Uh, yes, induces panic. Uh, advertisements for armed services are pretty common across uh, the Western world. They just have different approaches. Uh, for my entire lifetime, there's been quite a few different campaigns from the Marines and the Navy. Uh, I just recently watched, I, I, I want to link it but I watched a documentary about like the history of the advertisements for the armed forces and the hits and misses that they've had. Uh, there is a famous advertisement for the U United States Marines from the 1980s. That's like dungeons and dragons themed. It's like guys, it's human sized chess where people are fighting in like knight's armor and stuff. And uh, then suddenly a person turns into a marine in full dress. Pretty much. What's next level is, uh, Scott, you probably remember this. Do you, uh, America's Army, the video game. You probably were in high school when it came out. It's a tactical shooter that the U.S. Army... Uh, they didn't like make it themselves, but they paid a game studio to make it. Um, yeah, it's. I think it's still out there, and it's like you know, it's a Rainbow Six style kind of thing. Yeah, A A America's Army. There have been a couple of versions of it. Is it not normal for like people to go to schools, like the military, to have a presence at people's schools on like career day? It's pretty normal. That's obviously normal in America. You'll have like, you know, the Marine Corps has like a booth at like a career day event at your school, just in case. Son, have you thought about joining the armed forces? Exactly, yeah. Uh, and no hate, it's a good option for a lot of people. Yeah. So. A pretty obnoxious mold mine on that guy's arm. Oh. Listen, Blue Nine, headshots are headshots, whether you're using a gun or a camera. What? <laughs> he 
he said, I learned my photography trick to keep my hands steady from the America's Army sharpshooting tra training section. Nice. And it's, it's true, though. The same sorts of techniques that apply to shooting apply to photography. Yeah. I bet. I bet. It's hard to deal with this rubbery, rubbery seam on plastic sometimes. What I do is I like to cut it off as best as I can with a sharp X-Acto knife and then deal with some of the fuzzy bits with a sponge sanding stick. I find that scraping with an X-Acto doesn't do anything. All right. All right, let's talk strategy. This is a, a bartender dude. They're often, I feel like they're often wearing a white dress shirt under this like vest thing they got going on. And it's like a, a black, no, actually this looks like an apron. Yeah, he's definitely wearing an apron. So it's like a half, is it a half apron? Well, I think, I think you're right. I think he's also wearing a vest. I can't see it completely clearly here, but. Okay. So it's like, this is like a lower waist apron. It's got a vest and a dress shirt on. So we're thinking maybe brown leathers, white dress shirts some kind of vest material, maybe a fun color to play with, maybe like a blue. Or uh, I've been doing too much blue and red. Yeah, he might not be a bartender. He might just be a hipster. It could be, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he's definitely got like the, the ties on his shoulders. Uh, the little bands there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so the white shirt, I think, is the right call. Yes. He's. It looks like he's wearing um, Union Soldier pants to me. Okay, so maybe make the pants blue. Yeah, with red stripes down the sides. Okay, let's relax here. This we got fucking thirty minutes, Evan. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you got to make sure that you free hand the symbol of the bar on his apron. Right. Yeah. Yeah. A little anchor there it says, "Come on in, enjoy your stay." My name's Steve. The fucking whiskey's great. Yeah, we'll put that. Yeah, an NMM on the shotgun, obviously. Yeah. 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 And now I'll paint four more of them, <laughs> maybe. And if I can complete that in 30 minutes, then that guy who wanted to paint 12,000 points in Necrons probably is right behind me. <laughs> he looks like Stalin with a huge gun. He does have a bitch instead. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. By the way, if you guys are gonna heat up a model to bend it, you gotta bend it further than you want to because it just slowly kind of creeps back. I can, I can actually already feel it coming back to, he just hunched over so much and I wanna kind of see his chest and his face better when he's sitting on a tabletop. All right, anyways, yeah, white stress shirt. We'll go with blue slacks. We'll do a brown leather apron and the vest will be something. Something, something, something. We'll do a red necktie. That's fun. Let's do a green, let's do a green vest. And brown hair, okay. Does priming count? I don't think priming counts. Priming never counts when you talk about how long something took you to paint. Depends on the priming. Guys, yeah. I'm totally priming. I'm just using the paint colors that I'm going to be using at the end of this. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Actually, fuck it. We'll just we'll we will we'll do this. We'll do it for real. Um, do it live. I, I will. We'll time everything. Um, I'm going to make some space for myself here. Grab my palette, so it's gonna be near to me. It's already moistened. Ready to go, paper towel, right there. Good, good. Airbrush, ready to rock. Need some brushes. Oh, Vince also gave me some goodies. In case anyone wants to see them. He got me Nakima from Malefo. It was like a big demon lady. Um, you could put that on the camera if you wanted. I could. There's the art. Hey. And then here is the render. Front, back. Quite a large miniature. I'm gonna do this quickly, quickly so I can get back to painting. And then he gave me a Death High model. I'm actually, I like Death High models from KDM. They're, they're nice. But it's, uh, it's the chef, female. Um, but dude, look at her face. It's so tiny, dude. This, this one's especially small. The other one that I painted was definitely bigger than this. This this one is small. That one looks like true scale. It does. 
It does. In the face, Lord Almighty, the face is so small. Like, actually, I will show Don't you this model. Don't forget to paint the eyes, Scott. I, I will. I will. When I paint it. Um, it's funny to look at these two models side by side. I, I believe they're a similar scale. One, obviously, is a demon. But, like, look at her head. And then, look at the fucking other head. Look at the size comparison. It's crazy. Got the head's like a third of the volume. It's nuts. 30 minutes fading. Hey, you don't gotta stress me out. I know the time. Me? I know who I am. All right, fine. I won't show you the miles anymore. Everyone can think. Who was it? Exigent Midnight. Malifo is like Boom, sub one hundred dollar buy-in. Just saying, I've demoed it before. I'm 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 into it. I got a crew. Okay, I need brushes. That's why I saw these models. All right, all right. A couple of these are getting a little. Fucking I got my timer ready, but you got to get started, or we're not gonna end on time. Okay, okay. Hit the gas, baby. All right, this is the one right here. All right, I'm ready to go. Timer started. Okay. Come on, compressor, keep up with me. Starting a prediction. We're doing it. People are confident in your painting abilities. Oh, back and forth, back and forth. So the question is, do I say that you will and then not distract you? Or do I say that you won't and then constantly try and distract you? <laughs> is that cheating? Is that wrong? Some form of insider trading. I put too much thinner in here. Oh my God, do I bet the farm on Scott again? Let me just tell you, I've been dominating on the gaming stream, okay? I haven't lost a game in like, I don't know, three months. 27 minutes. Dry over there, Mr. Bartender man? We are not. Air dryer. Scott, did you remember to drill the barrels? Fucking A.
I'm gonna clean that out later. Evan, remind me to clean my airbrush out. Do you have time? I'm not gonna do that as part of the thing. No, but I'm saying, do you have time afterwards? Oh yeah, yeah, it won't take me that long. Okay. I'm just uh, treating these 30 minutes as especially. The precious thing that they are? Yes. I would switch to the paint rag camera, but you forgot to turn it on before. <laughs> it's probably not in focus. That. I think it's also not plugged in because it did not come online. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to see what I'm doing right now, chat. Here, I'll go. I'll go to the paint rack cam. I'll go to the paint rack cam. Okay. <laughs> Riveting content. This, 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 this. Um, we need some brown. Perf. Okay. Cool. I definitely like cutting to a camera that just says Elgato, no signal. Nice. I could talk while I'm painting. I don't need to focus that much. Yes, talk while you're painting, Scott. Oh, critical failure. <laughs> the uh, Zenithal undercoat is just peeled off a little bit on his butt cheek. I don't know if you saw that. Uh oh. That's okay. It's texture. Oh, it's still happening. Oh, it's happening a little bit more. It's okay. It's going to be gentle. It's all coming apart at the seams. It's all right. At the seams? Nice. I like what you did there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why are you being a little bitch? I'd love to go faster than I'm going right now, chat, but this ink problematic. I'm giving it all I've got, Captain. Yeah. She can't go any faster. This ink. I'm being betrayed right now. Coben Heister, you should definitely panic. When okay. the timer ends, Scott ends. <laughs> That's terrifying. Let's grab. Oh, it's already on my desk. So I used it for a gag. Fuck. There it is. Okay. Wow, you got up, turned around, walked away for no reason. I know, wasting valuable seconds. You really are. Twenty-two minutes left. So you were gonna make his vest green. Oh yeah, here. The shirt's white. I forgot. Oh, the ink. Uh, Dr. Fisker, definitely more of a vampire fan than a skeleton fan. Oh, fuck. All right. I got to blast this with, with, with heat. It ain't, it ain't cured yet. there on the white shirt.
I'm gonna paint his shoes with a darker brown um, than I did his uh, his apron here, and it's just because um, I want the higher up parts of the model to be brighter. Same color though, just different dilution. Uh, we'll also do the same thing with the gun stock, just because we're pressed for time. This paint is immediately next to me, and I want it to appear different than the apron, and so we'll we'll achieve that difference, making it a darker brown, all of the same, the same color. Keep bumping the head with a cam. I need the straps that same brown color. Alrighty then. All right, we got, I forgot about the green, the green vest. There we go, nice little emerald green. Vince can paint two Skaven armies in 30 minutes. True. <laughs> True facts about the Vince. Uh. Trying to get color on the model in the right spots. Yeah, the the difference between a couple extra minutes of hair drying is what means the paint isn't going to strip off the fucking white ink. Just needed to do it a little bit longer. I've done this exact process on stream before, so it's weird that it would have happened now and not those previous times, but it's just a little bit more time. You need a little bit more heating up. Evan, you can talk to chat if you want to. I could. Chat's gotta say things that deserve my attention though. Wow, chat. Yeah, come on chat, step it up. The onus is put on Instead you. Instead of me entertaining you, you should be entertaining me. All right, the theory is gonna be that I can fix a lot of this with uh, with highlights. It sounds like a theory, all right. Yeah, it's a theory. I mean, it's an informed theory because I've fixed a lot with highlights in the past. That's true. Uh, we are almost halfway through. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Blue Knight, is that actually true? Is it true that snakes have two penises? Two peni. Female snakes and uh, lizards also have two clitorises. Oh. Can have twice as many babies. I'm uh, not sure that that's the, how that works, Scott. I think it is. Twice as much fun. Probably going to regret Googling that. It's going to color Google results forever. Uh, I have not lost my thumb to give an update. Uh, I have competed, completed my antibiotic course, and it still hurts a little bit, but I think it's just bruising from the deep punctures. So I'm not worried about it. It seems to be continuing to get better. But uh, if I still have pain in another few days, probably, honestly, probably next week if it still hurts, then I'll go back and be like, yep, it's time to cut it off. Air drying. But yeah, it's, um, recovery is an ongoing process, I suppose. Um, kitten, I got bit by my cat. I was breaking up a fight between the new cat and the old cat. And the old cat was seeing red and chomped me right on the base joint of my thumb. Um, was that two weeks ago now? Yeah. Uh, two weeks ago on Monday. And it sucked really bad. It sucked really, really bad. Do not recommend. Uh, my hand swelled up real big. And I couldn't really move my thumb. 
and then I had to deal with the American healthcare system, which is always a fun adventure. But things are back to relatively normal now, and I'm probably not dying. Yeah, I got infected pretty bad. Old cat was doing his job, which is being a mad old cat. Still the best cat. Still number one cat. Uh, new cat is doing well, though. He has started to uh, roam the house. He's still incredibly afraid of me when I move around. He purrs whenever I pet him. He's happy to interact with me when he's on his cat tree. But if he's like out and about and I also am out and about, he just runs and hides. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, Kitten, when I went to see the urgent care, they weren't, like, frightened, but uh, the nurse practitioner that saw me was just like, yep, if your tendon continues to hurt or if it worsens at all, we'll have to do surgery. And I'm like, what? I don't want to get surgery on my thumb. I need to use that. Could have said something, Scott. Could have muted you. He likes to blow, blow the airbrush right as airbrush. Air, oh my god. Hair dryer right as his crotch. Because when he does so, it feels like he's getting yelled at by a guy with a fever. Wow, that's, now looking good, a, chat. Need to do a lot of work here with some highlights. Scott, the brawl water says that you don't respect me. What? He says you don't realize that I am the glue that holds this stream together. That's what someone said? You're not making this up right now? That's what someone said. Okay. I mean, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> we'll do one highlight on the hands. God damn, there's so many buttons on this thing. On the stream deck? No, the the new thing. The oh. the Atem. Atem? Atem? Ateme? Atem mene? Sounds like Timmy. Timmy. This is a loan, Scott? Yes. We have to give it back. I can pry it from my cold, dead hands or whatever. It's beefy. It's pretty beefy. A little, you. little chubby. Thank you. Oh man, I'm like rubbing off all the paint. Good. This is good. You hear that, chat? Scott's rubbing off his mini. Okay, so this white shirt is not very white. Um, yeah, he's looking pretty dirty. Yeah, he is. That is the wrong color to use. We need more of an ochre to highlight this. Ooh, that's a nice color. These two are perfect. Here we go. Fix it with highlights. I'm trying. I'm trying. 
Chat's gonna make you regret saying that. I mean, like, what do you want me to do if there's an immediate problem in the middle of my 30 minute trial, chat? You want me to stop? Chat's gonna make you regret. Strip the model and start over? Being alive. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to do this, you know? Give me some mercy. I believe in you, Scott. Yeah, whatever. Says the guy always bets on the guest. Yeah, I definitely didn't bet against you. What do we have for time? You got 10 minutes. Okay. It should show the time on your screen. But I know you can't really look away right now. It doesn't. Oh, it does, but it's covered by your chat. That's why. Okay. I'm pretty excited about this thing. Black Magic sent us an uh, ATEM Mini Extreme ISO chat. So we can theoretically step up our streaming game. I think it's going to give us the ability to more reliably run more feature cameras. Based on how I'm thinking of this. All right. It has a very distinct, like, manufacturing scent to it as well. What is it? Just fucking breathing deeply over there. Yeah, I'm. I'm definitely sitting here smelling a piece of video gear. <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> it's um. It's not as noxious as that horrible cheapo Chinese manufacturing smell, if you know what I mean. But it is... It reminds me of Best Buy. Audio... Sony Audio Gear at Best Buy. It's a very descriptive smell. Specifically Sony Audio Gear. Not Panasonic. No. Okay. Where is my other skin highlight? There it is. Here, I'm going to move the timer to where you can see it. Where you can see it. Cool. Thank you. He's doing it, chat. He's fixing it with highlights. Fixing it with highlights is like fixing it in post. Totally. Totally is not. Play us out. Scott, what does that mean to play us out? Chat, am I crazy for going for eyes? Oh, yeah. You got to paint the eyes, Scott. Oh, fuck. He took the bait, chat. Oh, I need like a black or something. Fuck. Oh, she's brown. I ain't getting up no more. That's six minutes. Desperately trying to stay on camera. Stay on camera. Stay on camera. Okay, let's try to fix that. And then move on ASAP. Scott's too focused to riff on references. It's Star Wars. Okay, yeah. come on. 
it's an easy one but i'm just saying you're not you're not in it to to in it to spin it i guess yeah that's what it is Mm -hmm, mm-hmm mm-hmm Yeah, don't forget to do the gun barrel, Scott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rufus Kit really wanted me to remind you. Thank you, Rufus Kit. I appreciate it. All right. I need a red. I have a red party. Five minutes. All right. T minus five minutes and counting. I just want to say that this is not the challenge my sepulchral guard was tasked with. It's just pain in the model, not like everything you know getting the paint out <sighs> you know this is more fun he's hedging chad he's hedging <sighs> fuck <laughs> busted <laughs> yeah what was the name of this homicide that it's in I think it's undead or alive. Undead or alive. That's it. Yes. So this is the old west themed dead zombie side. Yeah. Gilligans. Yes, they are acid watched Levi five hundred one slims. Okay. He got the shirt garters. You got to keep those sleeves tight. Got to see my biceps. Buttons. Okay. Three minutes. It's incredible how fast 30 minutes goes by. It really is. But like, like, you know what they say, Scott. What do they flies say? when you're having fun. That's certainly a description for what I what is happening right now. And if you're having fun, don't forget to subscribe. If you Hit like watching me suffer. More, you can subscribe with Prime. Link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, and you can give away one sub for free a month. And we, of course, would appreciate it. Just like I would appreciate it if Scott would yell hair dryer before turning it on so I can mute it. Dr. Fisker says, wait, is the underside of one of his arms unpainted? <laughs> uh, no, it's just like black from the primer, and then the wash went on top of it, and it didn't do much to it. Mmm. Gun. The Super Gamer Boys knows what's up. He knows he's having fun and has subscribed to Tier 1 hey. for the first time. Also, another way to differentiate the apron from the gun stock that's like immediately next to it is to change the kind of finish it is. And I'm doing that by washing on a glossy... Uh, wash. Gilligans gifting a sub to Brigandige. Brigandige? Yeah. I think. And hey, if you subscribed today for the first time, if your Twitch account is linked to your Discord, you get access to the Miniac Discord for patrons and subs instructions in the little thing that I just posted. Scott, you got 100 seconds left. Okay. Four. Oh, I lied. 70 seconds left. Okay. Um, I'm done right now. This is all extra credit. Uh, that base doesn't have anything on it. Oh, shut up. <laughs> shut up. 
What do you want from me, bro? Scott, you know what I always say, and you have agreed with me many times. The mini isn't done until the base room is painted black. Now, you don't paint the base room black until everything else is done. I'm not painting the base room black. And that means that the mini's not done. God damn. Logic. Just can't win. Can't win against this insurmountable enemy. Right after this, Evan is going to do another board game mini in 30 minutes. And then we're going to compare and contrast the results. See, the trick is that I'm just going to get a Necron and I'm going to spray paint it silver. It's got to be NMM though, dude. No, 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 no. I am not, I'm not insane. Unlike uh, Elmiri. Time's up. Pencils right. down. Test is over. Yeah, that's rough, bro. That is rough. Is it done? Every part of the model is painted. Does it look good? No. <laughs> I mean, uh, I think I think it's pretty good. Certainly considering the amount of time. You have differentiated colors mostly. Uh, I like the uh, gloss on his apron. Yeah. I'd be happy with that result, TBH. Board game standard. That's happily tabletop quality. I feel like chat is saying it's done, but it might be all the people that voted for me. <laughs> so here's, here's what we do. We're going to do a lightning poll. We're going to ask people if they think this counts as done. We're also going to we're going to see that the poll strangely mirrors the ratio, ratio of people who voted for me either positively or negatively, whether or not I was going to be finished with this or not. You might be right. Uh, five gifted subs from the Brawl Water. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate it. Looks like a winner to me. Super Gamer Boys. Yeah. Underside of the arms, not done. That's fair. Can I keep painting it while they're voting? Time's up. Pencil's down. I know. If you do I... anything further from here, you get disqualified from the test and you don't get to go to college. <laughs> All right. The consensus is that it's done. I don't think that that's switching. Okay. And what a surprise. It really does track nearly the same ratio. Yeah. It's weird. It's like people vote for their own interests rather than the interests of truth and justice in society. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Political. So we got serious there. All right. Let's 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 briefly review what could have been done better um, in 30 minutes. C's get degrees, baby. Um, okay, number one, the white ink was Mike peeling. Mike got 244000 off of that. Jesus Christ. Holy mother of God. Um, yeah, so the white ink was disintegrating as I was applying it. So I needed to cure it more before applying my paints. I've done this exact process on stream in 30 minutes before. Um, and it worked fine. So I just got a little unlucky there. Um, the green I used, uh, this green from Citadel, while it is a very pretty green in the bottle, it's actually a little bit less blue than what you're seeing on stream. Um, it has a terrible coverage property. Uh, yeah, you put that on there and it, I, I didn't see the bottle beforehand and it's like mint. I know. And it is kind of minty, but like it just, and I applied some more highlights after the fact, but the initial application, which kind of looks something more like that, this is even with a wash applied on top of it, was just so bad. Um, so that was rough. Um, those are the kind of my biggest two takeaways. I think if we were timing like actual time spent painting, I could probably do a little bit more. That's normally how I time my shit on YouTube uh, whenever I like time a paint job. It also didn't help that you didn't have all your paints prepped. Yeah, that also might've helped a little bit too. Uh, we could do it again though. We could do it next stream, uh, give it another shot or when can we do it again? I think I need to have it done by this weekend actually. I have to maybe do a couple more. Anyways, yeah, it's trash. I tried to stream, I tried. And we're trying to end on time, and it is that time. It is that time. All right, who should we host? 
Oh, uh, that's right. That's a thing we do. Just looks like who's a live? Dusty Cowboy Counterclocker. Thank you for the Prime sub. Eighty-two percent said it was done. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Yeah. You should do one of these every stream until all of your board games are finished. That'll still take a really long time. That's only one mini a week. I'll see you in, uh, I don't know, maybe like 15 years. Uh, I do. I mean, it's fun. It, this is this is a fun experiment. Um, it also helps with a person like me who is like, has a really hard time putting a model down or being like satisfied with level of completion. Like this is, this, this is trash to me. This is like absolute trash. Um, but it's because I, that's not because I think like this is like a, a bad painter did this. It's because I normally spend 10, 10 to 20 hours on a model and I can get a better result when I do that. And obviously I can't, uh, anyone could. Um, so yeah, I think the silver was not fully dry before I applied the wash. How about you stream more? <laughs> then, I make, then I make less videos. Baby Scott, will you will you show my result with Necrons, baby voice guy? Uh, probably not. Just we're about to end the stream right now. Thousand years later. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do you think? You want to do Mohawk miniatures today? Yeah. He's live. That sounds good to me. All right, y'all. We're going to end the stream, and then we're going to raid Mohawk Miniatures. Make sure to send him some love from us. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for the support. I feel like we got a ton of subs today, more subs than we normally do. I really appreciate that. Uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, it's just good vibes all around. Good vibes all around. Good vibes. Uh, we'll catch you this Thursday for a mystery game. I don't know what it's going to be. You got to figure that out. Still got to figure that out. Heck, I could have Dan over. We could play AOS just for fun. Um, yeah. All right, that's going to be it for this stream, guys. Thanks for hanging out again. Thank you for the support. I always appreciate it. I'll catch you this Thursday for a gaming stream and next Tuesday for another painting stream. See ya!